All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody have a name tag. Yes, that means everybody signed in. Okay, I think we'll start with a pledge and then we'll go um, and talk about what we're going to do today. All right. Everybody. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So I'm just going to do some housekeeping stuff, explain some things, and then we'll get started. Can I just have a view of who the primary is? And who the candidates are? You're in the primary. And who is the other primary? And then council. <coughs> council. And council. Okay. All right. So on April 5th, 2022, the official election results for District 10 gave Joseph Heidemann total votes of 403 and Andre Wolfen total votes of 402. After the Board of Canvassers met, there was one vote counted for Andre Walton, bringing the vote to a tie. The tie was broken with a lot drawing of cards. Joseph Heidemann was declared the winner of District 10. The clerk received a petition of recount on Monday, April 11th from Andre Walton. And we are here today to recount the ballots of District 10 wards 19 and 20. Um, we are having the meeting taped so we can have a transcript of the proceedings. Um, the microphones are there when green means we're on. And so if there's any side conversations, it'll pick that up. So if you have a conversation to have, if you could take it outside the room so that we can make sure we have a clearer understanding of what happened today. Um, there are five <laughs> different reasons why someone could object. The objection needs to come from the primary, the candidate, or <coughs> council, okay? Um, and I'm going to ask at different times as we go through things if there's any objections. Um, so on Tuesday, there was a posting made for with the recount peti petition that was sent out via email. And that was also sent to the board. The notice of the recount was sent to the board and it was sent to each candidate. Actually, they came in and they signed for it. Are there any objections to the recount itself? Madam uh, Chair, yes. there, there is an objection uh, by uh, Mr. Heidemann mm -hmm. to the recount itself. We believe that the statute is clear that in the event of a tie, the candidates uh, are, are determined by lot according to state statute. And because both of them engaged in the selection by lot, the matter is settled, the winner has been declared. And we, we object to the, the continuation of a recount because it's out of time according to the statute. So like that that uh, record, that objection recorded in the record. What, what, what are you, What's out of time? The, the, the recount is out of time because the winner has been determined by lot according to statute. There's a tie, and but the statute says that by lot the uh, the candidates are selected, and there's a winner. And, and that was uh, done the, at the board of canvassers, yes. and then you have three business days to so we, request a recount. We believe that that action supersedes the ability to request a recount if you engage in the, the lottery itself. If you had not taken the the lottery and you asked for a recount, this would have been in time, but by going through the process of flipping the coin, or I guess it was drawing up a card in this instance, the candidates agreed to the outcome and it settles the matter and Mr. Hill loses the winner. And, I, the and I'll let our attorney So what I, what I would suggest is that first we let the um, uh, other uh, counsel respond okay. to that and okay. then I will give my advice. Okay. Well, um, when you have a tie, somebody has to be able to ask for a recount. Um, the statutes are clear that you have three days after the conclusion or certification, I should say, to ask for a recount. So everything is timely, everything should proceed. We're all dressed up and ready to go and we ought to do that. So my advice to uh, the Board of Canvassers is that you do not sustain the objection. Uh, the process under the statute does provide, as was noted by uh, counsel for uh, Mr. Walton, uh, that when you have a tie, you don't have a winner, and it does require a losing candidate to even file for a recount. Uh, and so not going through that process uh, would, would be 
meaningless. You would you would render that portion of the statute meaningless, and of course, um, you know, we don't read statutes in ways that renders render them meaningless. Uh, additionally, the uh, drawing of the card is required to be done at uh, the time of the Board of Canvassers meeting. That is also uh, very uh, clearly stated in Chapter 9. There is no option for the candidates to not participate. Should they sh choose not to participate, uh, it would have been done in any case. And so for that reason, my recommendation to the Board of Canvassers is that you deny the objection and continue uh, with the recount. I vote we continue with the recount. Chair votes that we continue as well. Yes, I will talk louder. Thank you. All right. Um, when we met last Friday, the, the board of canvassers is um, comprised of Peter Madden, Marjorie Geeson, and myself. Peter Madden could not be here at the recount today, so we appointed Martha Lepinen to be part of the board. Are there any objections to the, comp the composition of the board? No objection. All right. Again, the um, notices were sent out. The public was notified on Tuesday morning, um, and that the board has decided that we will hand count the ballots today. Are there any objections to those procedures? Okay. Then today we're going to start the recount with um, Ward 19 and end with Ward 20. We have a checklist that the board will follow. It's right out of the state manual. And um, we are, we'll explain the procedure as we go. Please speak up if you have an objection, and we'll go from there. So just to recap, Ward 19, the original vote total for Ward 19 was 277. The number of voters on the poll list was 277. We had 130 absentee applications and 110 absentee ballots cast and zero rejected absentee ballots. So first we're gonna start with the poll list. We're gonna go through the poll books and just reconcile them comparing that each of our poll, work, poll books says the same thing. Yes. Let's have you guys start with A's and just compare. Sorry, and then once you're done, we'll go through the numbers and make sure they're documented correctly. A is page two. Do we read the full name? The voter name? Abrashinsky, Patricia, number six, absentee. Okay, we'll do the absentees later. Okay, just right. to make sure that there's a number for each voter. For on page four, nothing on page three. On page four, Austring Danny, number seven. Austring Christine, number eight. In the B's, page five, Barber Michael, 242. Barber Terry, with an I, 241. Nothing on page six, page seven. Fine, B-E-I-N-E, Katie, number nine. Fine, B-E-I-N-E, Stephen, number 10. Benning, Deborah, D-E-B-O-R-A-H, 156. Page eight, Benning, John, 153. Benning, Deborah, number three. Benning, Richard, number four. Berg, Jacob, 263. Berg, John, 248. Page 9. Berg, Kathleen, 249. Berg, Matthew, John, 262. Page 11. Bachman, with two N's, number 11. Bachman, with two N's, Michael, number 12. Brower, Anna, number 13, page 12. Brower, Kurt, number 14, Kurt with a C. Brower, Dawn, one, I'm sorry, 230. Brower, Eric, 228. Brower, Jean, 15. Brower, Matthew, 16. 
page 13. Bratz, Joseph, 17. Bratz, Renee, 18. Page 14. Bircham, 191. I'm sorry, Bircham, Sheila, 191. Burkhart, David, 258. Burkhart, Haley, 171. In the C's. Page 15, there's nothing. Page 16, there's no voter. Page 17, Claridge, Frank, 184. Claridge, Marilyn, 163 on page 17. Page 18, no voter. D's, page 19. Davis, Lauren, L-A-U-R-I-N, 275. Davis, Mary Beth, 19. Page 20, Decker, with two Ks, Bernard, 20. Decker, Lana, 21. Dylan Burke, Thomas, 225. Page 21, Donath, Jane, 22. Donlan, Jane, 266. Donlan, Mark, 265. Page 22, Duco, Larry, 227. Eves, Page 23, Eisner, J, 259, Eisner, Rose Lee, 107, Eckblad, Anders, 240, Eckblad, Elizabeth, 243. <laughs> Page 24, England, Karen, 217, England, Robert, 218. F. Page 25, Felker, Jean, 23, Felker, Richard, 24. Feudner, Bonnie K, 25. Feudner, John Charles, 26. Page 26. Fisher, S-C-H-E-R, Ernest, 27. Floriano, Anne, with an E, 28. Fosterling, Deborah, D-E-B-R-A, 234. Fox, Diane K, 29, Fox, Thomas, 30. Page 27, Fredericks, Mark, Allen, 195. Free, Billy, 181. Free, Catherine, 180. Freisinger, Galen, 83. G. Page 28. Gandry, Lisa Jane, 31. Gandry, Vicki, 36. Page 29, no voter. Page 30. Garza, Mary Lou, 37. Garza, Raul, 38. Gerhardt's, George Jr., 219. Page 31, no voter. Page 32. Gamak, Aiden, 133. Amak, Tom, one, Todd, 132. Godinez, Madeline, 209. Godinez, Salvador, 210. Goldman, with two N's, David. Goldman, Tamara, 245. Page 33. Gomez, Yasmin, 40. Gassi, Susan, 199. Gossi, Thomas, 198, page 34. Grace, Richard, 270. Rob Schmidt, Anna, 167. Rob Schmidt, Carrie, 166. Rob Schmidt, Eugene, 165. Page 35, there was no voter. Page 36. Grinky, Donald, 121. H's, page 37. Hartman with two A's, Beverly, 41. Hartman with two A's, Ronald, 42. Halbach, Rodney, 246. Page 38. Hammond, Heidi, 276. Hansen, E.N., Gerald, 190. Armaling, Larry, 208. Page 39. Heinen, Carolyn, 255.
Heinen, David, 256. Page 40. Hemschmeyer, Betty, 160. Hemschmeyer, Charles, 159. Hendrixie, Carl, with a K, 125. Henning, Rosalie, 43. Page 41. Herber, Linda, 216. Heron, Beth, 152. Heron, Richard, 151. Page 42. Hicks, Cheryl, 201. Hilbert Tower, Hauser, K, 44. Heinemann, Susan, 134. Page 43, Hockwitz, Carolyn, 138, Heft, Albert, one, I'm sorry, Heft, Albert, 45, Harris, Daniel, 51, Holbrook, Betty, 235. Page 44, Holmes, Patricia, 269, Holshu, Susan, 168, Corzin, Frank, 76. Oh, wait, 46? 46. Mm -hmm. Powers, James, 47. Mm -hmm. Page 45. Powers, Patricia, 48. Hewns, Emma, 49. Hewns, Lisa, 179. Ickenauer, I'm sorry, page 46. Ickenauer, Kathy, 129. Jays, page 47, there's no order. Page 48. Jets, Bradley, 223. Johnson, James, 207. Johnson, Jean, 206. Page 49. Junts, or Junst, James, 50. Martha, would you like to read for a while? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Page 50. Uh, Kulk, Kelly, 196. Kulk, William, 5. Page 51. Julie, or Keller, Julie, 52. Kemp, Sarah, 53. Page 52. Clayunis, Jean, 202, page 53, Klokow, Gary, 254, Klokow, Susan, 252, Klokow, Zachary, 253, Knaus, David, 185, Kane, Kane, uh, Miranda, 236, Kepsel, I'm sorry, page 54, Kepsel, David, 233, page 55, Melissa Keel, Melissa, 54, page 56, Keel, Todd, 104, page 57, Labonte, Kathleen, 267, Labonte, Scott, 268, Lapagard, Nancy, 55, nobody on 58, page 59, Lefebvre, Paula, 122, page 60, Losing, Marlene, 143, page 61, Lori, Lisbeth, 204, now the M's, page 62, Moss, Noreen, 220, Majoral, Terrence, 57, page 63, Martinez, Adrian, 58, Martinez, Vicky, 59, page 64, Metalco, John R. Jr., 60, uh, Mauer, Daniel, 144. Mauer, Susan, 61. McClure, Muehlmans, 
Kathleen 251. Nobody on 65, 66. Mihan Constance, 56. Merkel John, 127. Mertzig Bruce, 161. Page 67. Mulebrook Linda, 62. Muhlmans Eric P, 63. Meyer James H, 64. Page 68, Sue Meyer, 65, Miller, Maryland, 66. Page 69, Mohar, Michael, 164, Moylanen, uh, Stanley, 67, Molitor, Kenneth, 183, Molitor, Lori, 182. Page 70, Morris, Gerald, 140, page 71, Miller with M-U-E-L-L-E-R, Clarence, 141, Miller, M-U-E-L-L-E-R, Kimberly, 68, no voter on 72, and page 73, Nelson, Mary Beth, 203, Nen, Barbara, 69, Neustel, Catherine, 70, Neustel, Larry, 126, Ninmer, Betty Lou, 71, page 75, Nooker, Gerald, 148, Nora, Audrey, 72, Nora, Elizabeth, 39, Nora uh, James Jackson Sr., 73. Nowak Allen, 74. No voter on 76. Now we're the O's. Olson, Narda May, 75. Apka North Andrew, 76. Adi Sheila, 139. On the page. Yeah, I'm sorry, 78. Yep. Okay. Now we're in the P's. 79, no voter. Page 80, Patton, Melissa, 77. Patton, Nicholas, 78. Paulus, Michael, 172. Paulus, Stephanie, 173. Purse, Charles, 244, page 81, Peterman, Suzette, 79, Peterman, with two N's, Margaret P, 175, Peterman, two N's, Randall, 174, page 82, no voter, page 83, Flocar, Louis, Los, I'm sorry, 176, Pool, Timothy, 2. Page 84, Puxich, Susan, 1. Uh, no cues. R. Page 86, Radke, Arthur, 277. Rad Schlag, Jessica, 80. Radke, Jeffrey, 205. Rackow, Dawn, 81. Raleigh, Holly, 271. Raleigh, Kyle, 231. No voters on 87. Page 88. Reinbold, Joe, 154. Reinbold, Margaret, 155. Rhino, Barbara, 82. Page 89. Rhino, Scott, 247. Richards, Eileen, 128. Page 90. Reese, Judith, R I E S, 274. 
page 91. Ro Sandra Lee, 169. Page 92. Roll, R O E H L, Sharon, 84. Resh, Rhonda, 86. Resh, Ricky, 87. Wrestler, Marlene, 85. Rose, Matthew, 261. Rosenthal, Benjamin, 213. Page 93. Rosenthal, Diane, 158. Rosenthal, Stephen, 157. Now we're in the S's. Page 94, no voters. Page 95, no voters. Page 96, Craig Schlichting, Schlichting Craig, 226. Page 97, Schultz Doris, 88. Page 98, Shut, S-C-H-U-T-T, -T, Patricia, 89. Seipel, Andrew, 90. Seipel, Carrie Ann, 91. Page 99, Shaw, J, 186, Sheeran, Patrick, 215, Sheeran, Susan, 214. Page 100, Shersel, Brian, 194, Sershel, Judith, 145, Sershel, Richard, 146. Page 101. Sixel Stanley, 170. Sof Safa, Paul, 239. Safa, Tracy, 257. Page 102. Sommerfeld, Jack, 124. Spaeth, Ronald, 162. Stampfell, James, 187. Page 103, no voters. Page 104, Stevenson, Lindsay, 135. Now we're in the T's. Page 105, Toffiner, Toffiner Barry, 92. Tellier, William, Wilma, I'm sorry, 142. 106, Tempest, Richard J., 150. Tempest, Ruth, 149, page 107, <clears throat> Tim, Cynthia, 93, Tim, Helen, 94, Tim, Jeff, 95, page 108, Tim, Steve, K, 96, page 109, Tuttle, Frederick, 193, now we're in the youth. Page 110, no voters. Now we're in the Bs. Um, page 111, Valenstein, Debbie, 119. Valenstein, uh, Scott, 120. Van Waddingen, Kate, 224. Vanderweel, Matthew, 32. Page 112, Van Dyke, Bruce, 229, page 113, Van Stel, Karen May, 97, Bervaldi James, 130, Vadesky, Greg, 211, Vadesky, Sandra Joe, 212, page 114, Vrashnik, which is spelled V-R-T-O-C-H-N-I-C-K. Thank you. Agnes, 98. Brachnik Frank, 99. Now we're in the W. Page 115. Wagner, Diane, 100. Page 116. Walter, Angela, 238. Walter, Edward, 131. Walton, Andre, 34. Warren, Alexandria, 272, 
Warren, Allison, 273. Page 117. Weber, Barbara, 250. Weber, Carl, 101. Weber, Delita, 197. Weber, Diane G, 102. Weber, Nancy, 103. Page 118. Widener, Jane, 260. Wyman, Teresa, 105. Wyman, Walter, 106. White, Justina Diamond, 35. White, Jonathan, 221. Page 119. White, Nicole, 222. Wicca, Glenda, Glenadine, 192. Widra, Janice, 108. Wield, Kevin, 189. Page 120. Wilsing, Diana, 109. Winkleman, Shirley, 110. Wodak, Edward, 111. Page 121. Wodak, Jean, 112. Woodard, Jane, 178. Woodard, Richard, 177. Wozniak, David, 188. Wright, Joanne, 147. No voters on 122. Now we're in the X's. One voter, Zhang Tao, Zhang, X-I-O-N-G, and then Tao, T-O-U-A, 237. And on the page? 123, thank you. Y. Now we're in the Y's. Page 124, Yang, Henry, Benjamin, 264. Page 125. Yabanis, Y-B-A-N-E-Z, Domingo, 113. Yabanis, Y-B-A-N-E-Z, Spring, 33. Page 126, Yetzer, Anthony, 232. Yetzer, Leslie, 114. Now we're in the Z's. Page 127. Zaluski, John, 115, Zaluski, Susan, 116, Zimbal, Jerry, 137, Zimbal, Jerome, 136. Page 128, Zimmerman, Allen, 117, Zimmerman, Joanne, 118. Now we're in the supplemental. Bassler, Dale, 200. And that is it. Right, so we're just going to check the front page again to make sure that the total number of voters was documented. Marge, what is the total? Number? Last voter number was 277. Correct. Last page number of the voter was listed as page 86. Correct. I'll let you look. All right. Yep, right here. Okay. Oops. And then the number of absentee. Number says, of absentee electors was 110. Correct. Okay, so both books match. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to go through absentee books. Mm -hmm. We want to keep those. Yeah. We will keep one book. <clears throat> because one of us will have a book, one of us will have applications, and one of us will have envelopes. Okay. And so we're going to compare our applications with our poll books, you want the log and these, right? And the envelopes, yes. I don't necessarily need the log right now, but I need the applications. Which is still going to be the easiest way to do this with the book? Well, I think we're going to have to read again. Okay, but I'm saying, is the book better in one place or the other? Or Okay. You have the book? The applications. This one is what I want. Yeah. yeah. This is rejected. Okay. All right. So this is a list of all the applications that we had for Ward 19. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have you just read. And as you go and read, 
We're going to look at the envelope, which I can do. And then we're going to look in the poll book to make sure that there's an A under the poll book. Okay. okay. So we're going to be in the A's. Mm -hmm. And. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's nice to meet you. How you apologize? Bring the request. Rocky oh. County can certainly. I'm not going to tell you how to bring it. Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. They sound like high energy. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sign in yet? No, where do I sign in? Okay. Thank you. If we do have a concern collectively with an envelope, why would it be appropriate to set it aside? That's when you would object to maybe that envelope yeah, and you set it aside and then we can deal with it. Yes. Are we good? Not necessarily an objection. Oh, yeah. but just Did we ever lose? It looked like it was recording the whole time and we just lost the picture. Well, it was recording and I lost audio and video. Okay. What, do we know when we lost audio? Well, I don't know exactly when it looked like. We, what we heard is it said that it is now recording and then it went black. <laughs> well, I mean, we were doing, I mean, we have a minute take or two, so that's, yeah. I think we'll see. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Did you guys read an even number of names? Pardon me? Did you guys read an even number of names? I heard them all planned out. <laughs> We were just a little shy at the time. But I felt the cough coming on. I thought I'm going to pass the torch right now. I've got stuff in my pocket. It's amazing how fast your voice will go if you're not used to speaking loud, right? You know, where you do it, unless you do it a lot. It's, 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 it's coach's voice. Like, I remember when I would coach my kids, it's like you develop that coach's voice. Well, yeah. I said yeah. for a lot of duties at the voting poll, you're used to using your own voice. Yeah, I'll say voice. I don't use mine very often. I'm not a very good outside voice. Which is one of our issues. Uh, as and a teacher, so that's gonna say I should use my mom to the laboratory and had to throw up on them. Getting your you need to sell so no and with the screams of the mother and I just wanna see if it's okay to look at that. I think so. So it's the going to watch this guy. Oh, yeah, city guests. Sorry. Yeah, city guests. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Whatever that comes off, and then it's city guests. Thank you. Just a question. Just on that. Not a sign by a witness. I, I would, <laughs> at that time, I would allow you to. I'm right. I think we should just do it right away. I think that's okay. All right. All right, is everybody back and ready? We would like to start and take a break a little later, if that's okay. Thank you. All right. So we already did Patricia, Abrashinsky, Patricia. Uh, these can be out of order. I'm just going to put it there, and then when we do the next one, we'll put it on top. Just a reminder, the, can the, can the microphone is running, so if Thank you're you having Justin. side conversations, it's yep. picking it all up, and it's also blocking sit. the ability to yep. transcribe what's happening. Like, okay. All right, if we could just, any side conversations, if you could take them outside, please, so we can hear, and it's on the record. Austring, Aust no, Danny, Lee. Austring, A U S T R E N G, Christine with a K. Voted. Bein, B I E B E I N E, Katie, K A T I E. Voted. Bein, B E I N E, Stephen G. Voted. Benning, B E N N I G, Deborah. Voted. Brockman with two N's, Mary. B R A C H M A N N. Thank you. Voted. Brockman with two N's, oh, B R. Oh. Does that mean we're good? Yeah, they they just came in just okay. to make sure that everything. Oh, okay, thank you. Brockman, B R A. Oh, sorry. That's okay. They have to be able okay. to see. Yeah, they B R A C H M A N N. Michael, yeah, you guys should James. be like three feet, I think. Yeah, just. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, but three people can. They're going to have to look. Three from each side. Three from can each be side right should up, be looking. Right up. Everyone else right. should. See. Everybody else guys, needs to be back. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're on Michael okay. Rockman. Rockman. Yes. Voted. Okay. All right. Brower, B R A U E R, Anna Marie. Voted. Brower, B R A U E R, Kurt with a C. Voted. Brower, B R A U E R, Jean. Voted. Brower, B R A U E R, Matthew. Voted. Bratz, B R O T Z, Joseph. Voted. Bratz, B R O T Z, Renee. Voted. Buchler, B U E C H L E R, Michael. Total, one moment. 
Oh, I bet they didn't vote. <laughs> B-U-E-C-H-L-E-R. Michael? Um, did not vote. Yep. That's, yep. So that's somebody that we had an application for that did not return their ballot. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, now we're going to be in the D smart okay. Davis. D A B I S Mary Beth Bowden Decker with two K's Bernard Bowden Decker with two K's Lana Bowden um, yes. I believe oh, either one of us can say yep. it, but yep. I think <laughs> yep. I went in the wrong file. Yep. Yep. went in the yep. wrong column. Yep, sorry. Decker. The only one that should be out is Buchler. B there was no, there was no. That did not vote, so there was yeah. no envelope, okay? So we had Bernard Decker. And then Lana. And then Lana. Right. And now we're on, so which, which? I think we're good. Okay. Just there was no, next. there. Yeah. so well, the one that was the um, Buchler, there's just no envelope. Yeah, for. I'm aware of that. Okay. I thought which, one came from this column. Okay. Just kind of slid over. Okay, okay. we're so good. Are we okay? Be, don't ask. Yep, Jane yeah, that's right. Okay, are we good? Then? We're good. Is everybody okay with okay. Jane okay. Donath, G D O N A T H, voted. Durkee, D U R K E E, Yvonne, uh, did yeah. not vote. Did not vote. So that's this is the next one, but this yeah. is, yeah, gotcha. it's kind of confusing because we'll have at least mm -hmm. 20 that didn't vote. England, Karen, E N G L A N D. Voted. England, Robert. Voted. Could we ask for an yes. explanation of the red? Yes. So this um, ballot came in, and when it came in, it came in on the 5th. We can contact voters to see if their envelope is incomplete for any reason. We've been given the authority to do that. The person did not buy the state. Um, the person did not respond right away, so we were going to send it to the polls with a rejection, but they have until 8 o'clock that night to be able to correct it. And that person called back, and we have the address of the witness. witness. So that made it okay. And is the authority statutory to contact the voter, or was that a guidance provided by WAX? It's WEC. I think it was, they had six months. It's the guidance is up in June, from what I understand. It was my guidance. It, yeah, it's WEC. Okay. That, that should be flagged. That's, that's well, a question. I think I want to object to it. So can you put it in a sure. separate file? Yep. And you want to write we'll Could you write that sure. some more? Okay. So, Madam Clerk, do you mind if we just take 10 seconds and write that down? Sure. No, Robert, no. England. And England as in the country? Yes. And, and Madam Clerk, are you okay if we call you that? Sure. Okay. Um, Robert, first name? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just want to show proper yeah, respect. No, I, I, and is there a number that yeah, he was? Yeah, so the voter number is 218. And, and I'm sorry, the details, Dan, that you want me to write down? That's, so that's fine. We'll take is that it. enough? Okay. Good. Yeah. Thank you. We'll get active. So. You can Herb Stacer, E R B S T O E S S E R, Daniel. It's not this one, but yeah, not voted. <clears throat> Felker, F E L K E R, Jean, voted. Felker, Richard, voted. So these are different envelopes because so they voted in person. person yep. So they're absentee in person. Feudner, F E U D N E R, Bonnie, voted. Feudner, F E U D N E R, John, voted. Fisher, F-I-S-C-H-E-R, Ernest, voted. Floriano, F-L-O-R-I-A-N-O, and with an E, voted. Fox, Diane K, voted. Fox, Thomas, voted. Gandry, Lisa, Jane. I'm sorry, Martha. I should okay. just tell you that You're we're switching alphabets. 
voted. Okay. Gandry, Vicky, voted. Garza, Raul, um, Mary Lou. At the top, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You want. There we go. Okay. Mary Lou Garza voted. Raul Garza voted. Gerhardt George Jr. voted. Gomez Yasmin. George, right? George. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. Gomez, Yasmin, yeah. correct. Voted. Gro, G R O H, Beverly, did not vote. Hartman with two A's, H A A R T M A N, Beverly. Voted. Hartman Ronald voted. Harrison Gregory. Did not vote. Henning, H E N N I N G, Rosalie. Voted. Hilberts Hauser K. Voted. Haft H O E F T Albert. Voted. Horson Frank. Voted. Howers James. Voted. Powers, Patricia, voted. Hewins, Emma, Catherine with a C, voted. Now we're in J's. Juntz, James, voted. And K's, Carries, K A I R Y S, Roberta Evelyn, did not vote. Caker, Constance, did not vote. Carrao, K-A-R-A-U, Candace, did not vote. Cougar, K-A-U-G-E-R, Marvin, did not vote. Now we're still in the case. Yep. Keller, Julie, Ann. Voted. Kemp, Sarah with an H. Voted. Kroll, K R O L L, Christine. Did not vote. Keel, K U E H L, Melissa, voted. And the L's. Lapagard, Nancy, voted. And the M's. Moss with two A's and two S's, Noreen, voted. Majoral, Terrence, voted. Martin, Kevin, Robert did not vote. Martinez, Adrian voted. Martinez, Vicky <clears throat> voted. Matelko, John R. Jr. 
voted. <clears throat> Mauer, Susan, yeah. situation. Yes. So they were contacted by phone mm -hmm. to provide the address. If you wouldn't mind setting that aside for now, ma'am. Do, do you mind if I just write the name down so we can come yep. back to it, please? It's John. Conventional way of spelling John. Yes. Elko, I'm terrible with names. M A T E L K O. L K O. Junior. And what voter 60. number? Number 60. Yes. And I'm just so that when we can sidebar with yes. council, was that one of those situations where they someone here called and said, hey, can you fix this? Okay, I'll just make that in my notes and then we'll. We'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. Now we're at Mauer, M A U R E R. Susan voted. Melcher, Nancy Ann did not. Mulebrook, Linda, that's M E U L B R O E K, voted. Amanda Mealbrook did not vote. Muleman's M U E L E M A N S Eric voted. Meyer M E Y E R James voted. Meyer Sue voted. Miller Marilyn voted. Moylanen Stanley voted. Miller M U E L L E R Kimberly voted. Now where the ends. Nen N E N N Barbara voted. Netzer Clifford did not vote. Netzer Patrice did not vote. Neustel Catherine voted. Ninmer Betty Lou voted. Nora Audrey Hart voted. Nora James Jackson Sr. voted. Nowak Allen voted. Step aside, please. Sure. Um, please. Yes, Allen, A L L E N. Yes. Nowak, N O W A K, voter number 74. And that was another call situation? Yes. yes. And on number 74? Yes. Um, I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Nowak Janice did not vote. Olson Narda May voted. <clears throat> Opkinorth Andrew voted. And the P's. <clears throat> Patton Melissa voted. <clears throat> Patton Nicholas voted. Persinger Nelda did not vote. Peterman Suzette voted. Pitts P U E T Z Santina did not vote. Ratslog Jessica voted. Rakow. Dawn voted. Rhino Barbara voted. Richter Donna. One moment. Did not vote. Real R O E H L Sharon 
voted. Resch, R-O-E-S-C-H, Rhonda voted. Resch, R-O-E-S-C-H, Ricky voted. S is now on Schultz, S-C-H-U-L-T-Z, Doris voted. Shoot, S C H U T T, Patricia voted. Siple, S E I P E L, Andrew voted. Siple, S C I P E L, Carrie, K E R R I voted. Sherman, Karina uh, did not vote. Taufener, T-A-U-F-E-R-N-E-R, -E -E Gary, voted. Tim, T-I-M-M, -M, Cynthia, voted. Tim, Helen, voted. Tim, Jeff, voted. Tim, Steve, voted. Van Wattingen, Kate. No, it was just missing? Yes. Okay. Maybe you want to write this down, Council? Uh, I don't think that's fatal. But... Should we just as a backup? Why don't we? And then we can just come back to it. Thanks. What's the number, please? 244? Two, number 244? Or 224? 224. And then the, the name of the voter, please? Kate. As in K-A-T-E? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then Wat Van Wattingen, B-A-N-W-A-T-T-I-N-G-E-N. Who gave her that last name? Holy cow. <laughs> what are we writing down, Meredith? Missing zip. There, there's a zip That's the only issue? Oh. Okay. okay, well, we'll come back to that, right? We'll just set it aside. Van Steele, Karen. One moment. And S T E L L E voted. Vrachnik, B R T O C H N I C K, Agnes voted. Oh, there's some huh? Good job with saying these <laughs> letters. Vrachnik, <laughs> Frank. <laughs> 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 she was very good at that. Don't you tell me the whole presence. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Wagner, W A G N E R, mm -hmm. Diane voted. Weber, Carl with a C voted. Weber, Diane. Oh, wait, one second. Oh, I'm sorry. Weber, Carl, G. G. Yeah, it's Carl. Yeah, it, it says G on your list. I'm sorry. That's okay. Are we good at this one? Somebody assigned as the assistant as well when they can't sign for themselves? So somebody help me. So, well, it looks like is it, I was just to get the last. One. Okay, it looks like I saw. No issue. Family member. Well, the witness is whoever is. Yeah. You good? Counsel? I'm good. You yeah. good? <clears throat> Diane Weber. Yeah. Uh, voted. Yeah. Nancy Weber. Voted. Wyman with two N's, Teresa voted. Wyman, I'm sorry, another one that we, another address. So set this one aside. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Name, Teresa, T H E R E S A, Wyman, W E I M A N N, voter number 105. Issue. Um, address of the witness. Missing. Um, yes, put oh, it by boy. the clerk's office. Oh boy. And you called? Yes. And that's yes. one of those like we had before. Yes, and okay. another one. Walter. Or set aside. Yeah. Walter Wyman. Yeah. Walter Wyman. Yes, voted. I bet he knows they Teresa. Were, yes, they are both their witnesses. Did you get her as vote, uh, Walter as voting? And yes. Correct. Okay. Correct. What number was that one? 106. Address is 506. with an I. W-E-I-M-A-N-N. -N. You're welcome. 
White Jonathan voted. White Nicole. Widra W I D R A Janice voted. Wilsing W I L S I N G Diana voted. Winkleman W I N K L E M A N Shirley voted. Wodak W O D A C H Edward voted. Wodak Jean voted. Ibanez Domingo. One moment. In the wise, sorry. Can, I, yep. can you read the rest? Okay, so this one came in and it was we um, came from the post office like this. So we contacted the voter and it was up to the voter on what they wanted us to do with the ballot if they were comfortable with them. We explained what happened and the voter, um, I talked to him was the and said he was okay. Damaged? Was the ballot damaged at all? Uh, well, we don't look in it. We just said this is it was sliced. I mean, if it would have been, they would have remade well, it there, at the. Was there a ballot in there? Yes. Oh, yes, there was a ballot in there. And then there's an but address it was issue sliced. as well. Yes, so Sheboygan, Wisconsin was added. Well, we should log that one as well. <clears throat> Name, please. Um, Domingo, D O M I N G O. First name, or is that his first name? That's his first. That's name. his first name. And I'm guessing what the Yvonne. last one is. Iban is. Yeah, I will. has got to oh, be there. So, so, so um, I B A N. Y B A N E Z is the last name. Iban is. <clears throat> Domingo D O M I N. So we tried to call him, left a message, he called back. And then, so this is indefinite confined. Yeah. This is indefinite confined. Yeah. Oh, it's the same label. I throw two labels, one on top, one on It's just slipped. Slipped on the middle. I see one. Okay. There's not another label on there. Okay. So it's he, just. You need to, hi. You need to. Did you sign in? I did not. Okay. Cheryl, can you? Uh, oh, what number is that? So Meredith. Yes, I'm So in council, you just you direct me. The, is this an indefinite person? Sorry. Yes. Yes. Sure. Can you and go then out then to what else the front address? desk? Go, go out where you came in yeah. and go to the <laughs> clerk's and office. And you put that in what there. What number Meredith? is that one, Meredith? Um, in our office. Somebody. Someone did. But this was not a call. This was a. You physically signed it. Just put in Sheboygan. So just so I have this right, Domingo yep. Ibanez, number 13, indefinitely confined designee, missing address. One call back. It's one thirteen. Yes, Not I've got the that. Yeah, right. the but there was a call back? Yeah. There was a call back. Oh, yeah, because you talked well, to him. He was called about the... He was called about the slice. Yeah. Yep. And then you left a message and... And he called back. He called and back. he says, okay. And he said, okay. You didn't have to give him a Jimmy John subs. Then <laughs> okay. so, and sometimes but, we send these back. You know, if they want, if sure. they're not comfortable with it, we send it back. Either he said it was okay to process. He said it was okay to process. One thirteen. I don't know. The question is, could you remove a ballot from there and slide it in a different one? I mean, I, it looks like it was sliced all the way through, but this is sealed. Part is I mean, it's sealed yeah. throughout the, that so I'm not sure intact, what happened. So yeah. And this was sealed. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to say my okay. opinion. Madam Clark, yeah. can you confirm thinking, that there was a ballot in there? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Are we, we're setting this one aside. Okay. Okay, the van is so that I so that was yeah. Domingo. Okay, okay. Yetzer, Y E T Z E R, Leslie. Voted. Zalewski, C A L E W S K I, John. Voted. Zalewski, Susan. Voted. Zimmerman, that's Z I M M E R M A N, Allen. Voted. And Zimmerman Joanne, C I M M E R M A N. Voted. So I will have you count your check marks. Can I have a fingers? <laughs> no, I got to start. I know I'm sorry. I know I <laughs> Oh, wait one second. Do you know what the... Uh, no, I just 77, 76 and 77. 74 was no wax, so it's probably... Well, that's really a strange slice on that. Very... Almost very hard. Yeah. It's not, it's not cut through on the wax. Okay, 76. Okay. 
Um, 76 and 77. Um, I don't, mm, not that it looks like. I don't know though. They're different addresses. Okay. But they, I don't. Okay. No, I'm yeah. good. That was it. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay. Scratch them off. Yeah, scratch them off. Thank you. Sure. Um, now, before you, I just want to make sure Dan's involved in this. Dan is, is our lead. Do you, how do you want to work it out with the clerk that we come back and go over each one? See how this plays here. Got it. Thanks. Okay. 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 Did I miss anything? No. But can you assist in what we do with the objective ones? Do we need to address that before we open the ballot? Yes. Uh, really sorry. I'm not even counting yet. Need some chocolate. I had more food. Oh, good. Good. Okay. You want to recount my count then? Yes. <laughs> so we at least have two counts. It sounds like a good thing. Mm -hmm. And then we're not counting those. Yes, we'll have okay. to count them for a total okay. of all the ones that we do. That's all right. I have no Okay, so I did do a two on a total. I have all counts in this environment. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think there's a We have Just because we don't trust their brains. No. <laughs> Can we get a calculator here? Sure. <laughs> um, Melissa probably has one. Okay. Can you give me that first one? That was the first one that was right here. I don't Okay. Oh, man, I'm the window in there. Oh, man. All being recorded. Can we, can you just, yes, we, okay, I'm sorry. We have 110 envelopes. We have 110 voted off our applications and we have 110 that is in the full book recorded for absentee ballots that were counted on election day. We, did we have any rejected? Where's the rejected envelope? So they did so not. you want the inspector statement? Please? Yes, we should probably check the inspector statement. No ballots in the rejected envelope from election night, Ward 19. And on the inspector statement, they have number of absentee ballots counted as 110. So, so that's what? 110. 110. 110. Yeah. Do you have the number of absentee ballots requested on that list? Um, I had said that in the years, I think we had counted those. 110 
been that were voted, but I'm just wondering issue. how many were requested on that. Applications, we had one, 130. Right, is, the, is the total on there? No, I don't think there's a total so on that sheet. Deduction, so by deduction, just 20 people didn't return. So at this point, we'd like to make an open records request for okay. both a copy of the clean version of that list that you started off with, as okay. well as a copy of the marked list that you okay. just completed. I'm not sure we I, have a clean. I'm sorry. I just don't know that we have a clean. I mean, you can reprint the print it off. It came yeah. off the what? Yeah. Make a record of the request. Yes. And okay. Okay. Sure. And I want to request whatever you're going to send. Thank okay. You. Cheryl, do you have that written down? Okay. Okay. <laughs> version of sure, what do you have applications? Make me do all the list and then a, a marked copy, the one that we marked. And that was by who made the request? Uh, uh, Kevin you're, Scott. You're the I'm, uh, primary. Primary. Primary rep. And then the council for. And then I said I want the same thing. Yes, yeah, same thing. Yes, please. Good old marks. <laughs> All right. Oh. It was just a, a list that was printed off of the absentee applications for Ward 19. So anybody that had a request for a ballot. Okay. Now, do we have to do this part? That's what she did. We did. We printed okay. this. We printed this. All right. Did. Okay. So that's what we just did. All right. So, you need this somewhere. So, Sorry. You need, yes, this is going to be part of the report. So you've set aside a number of ballots, yes. um, but we need to confirm whether they are being objected to or not okay. uh, before we before we act on them. So uh, you may want to just walk through one at a time okay. with the ballot and then confirm whether or not there is an objection and from whom the objection is made. Okay. Also, are you referring to the envelopes? Thank you. Yes. Yes. So the first one was Robert England. Is there a formal objection to this? Would, would it be possible for us to caucus before we answer that question? It's up to the board. <coughs> <coughs> yes. <coughs> yes. yes. We can take a five-minute break. How many of you are board? Board? They're not supposed to. Well, there's seven. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's seven. 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 Seven that oh, were set aside. You want five okay. minutes? Or you five minutes. Yeah. Is five yeah. minutes sufficient? Yes. Five minutes sufficient? Yeah. Okay. Can, can we see them? Yes. Can we leave? Yes. Can we have a bathroom? Yes. Go take a bath. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to run a bathroom. Yes. Because yes. I'm not recording any conversations. We really appreciate it. Yeah. That. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Well, what time is it? 22? Yes, thank you, sure. And 22 is what I have. So 20 to 27. Okay. Five minutes. Oh my gosh, I can't write anymore. Okay. Yes. Or would you like recessing? We probably yeah. You shouldn't make a comment. Yes. Um, th this is not a question that okay. they would need to be in. This is just a generic question. So your clerk's office, this request has to come for the, to request the absentee ballot. Do they call your office? Do they send? They have to do it in writing. Okay. And Somehow then, it has to be done in writing. And then you verify that that's who they are. And then you send it to that address. Okay. And then after that, it's out of your hands if they choose to return it, which 20 of them didn't. That's not your job to go babysit 130 people. But, and then I'll wait for this question when everyone's here. Yeah, as far as calling. Yeah. Can I just push this up? Yeah. Which one? Oh, yeah. So, just just another generic question. 
So with the guidance from, this is a totally separate, has nothing to do with this, the nursing home stuff here in Sheboygan. Because there were no sport, special voting deputies, did your office just like give them like 20 ballots and say it will be back in a week? Or how did you guys handle that in 2020? And this is not to oh, set you up or anything. In 2020, just, they were mailed. They had to have a request. They did. We, we don't, yes. Yeah, you just don't willy-nilly drop off. <laughs> yeah, there's no ballot. There's well, that no happened ballot. a lot. Well, yes. there's, yeah, there's no ballots. That so they still have to request yes. one. Oh, yes. Like, Everything has to be done in writing. So let's so say you and I are married and he's my grandpa and he wants one. You and I come to City Hall, request it. It's sent to the nursing home. Correct. But they and, can they can do it by mail or, I mean, request right. them. Have, yes, right, 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 right. Yeah, because way too many nursing homes just, oh, here's 20, we'll see you next week. Oh, yeah, that's inviting trouble, <laughs> Meredith. So that still had to happen, except you didn't have the two special voting deputies go there in person to witness and make sure they were coherent and cognitive. Well, they don't even do that. Okay. That's a that's a oh. judge. That's up to a judge. True. Right. But so they have they to make sure that you and I aren't filling his ballot out. The right. special voting deputies. Right. They come and they assist. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So what was the final? Was it two sixty nine to two sixty nine? What was the total? The tie vote. Four hundred three. Four hundred three each. Four hundred three for the district. So 403, so that would be 200 per person. No, 403 each for the Well, district. they both got 403. I'm sorry. Once the tie is. Sorry, Meredith. That's okay. I do. Yeah, I wrote them all down. And their name. What you guys told me. Carol, can you make a... You do have a copy. That's why I want one. Can I have them saved? Okay. Well, I just wonder if you should make a copy of 420 right before we mark it Oh, you know what I mean? Those sentences just made of the absentee. You want me to do that? That's why I don't see that. Well, before we start marking it up, that'll be after lunch, I'm sure. Oh, so, you know what I mean? Not just, now. It doesn't have to be now. Sorry. But like a true copy and not a, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Yeah. Kind of say yeah. something as the best say it to you. No, you know, this is a board. So you three, uh, you three, you three, we us three, we three. Yes, no. Yeah. 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 Probably it's best not to talk. Not, yep. Don't talk about it now. Yep. Thank you, Chuck. All right. All right, it's ten twenty seven. Do you guys need a let them know, Meredith? We can let them know. I'll we can. Know. Thank you, Cheryl. I can work with you. Yeah, I do too. <clears throat> They're requesting one more minute. Okay. Are you okay with that, Board? One more minute. Request has been made yeah. for one more minute. Request has been granted. <laughs> Oh, Cheryl. <laughs> That's why the clerk's office is the most fun office. Yeah, right. We have all the candy. <laughs> you actually have a good candy. have a pretty good candy, candy chart. Yeah. You do. You do. So Ask Ryan about all about it. So oh, I do. <laughs> Ryan is like, no, we don't. <laughs> he was down one time and. <laughs> It was cute. It was really yeah. Get tired of that. When you're 28, you can eat a lot. I know, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. It was just like, yes, long time. <laughs> no, That's what I always worry about. You know, I've had some of these that go on for a week and we're like, oh no. Oh. It's not a week. That's my reason. All right, are we all back? All right, Chuck, you want to give us a little guidance? So what I would suggest right now, you just have ballots that are set aside. Um, and uh, I would suggest that you read each one and then ask if there's an objection to them. If there's no objection, then 
will continue as if they were part of the original file. And uh, if there's an objection, we'll have uh, each side um, state either the reason for the objection or you know what their position is on the objection made by the other side. And then uh, we'll have the Board of Canvassers make a determination uh, on the ballot. Uh, now, obviously, it, it is only a an envelope. It is not the ballot itself. And so one thing that's, that's important to note is if at some point uh, the Board of Canvassers determines that uh, there should be a rejected vote because of the application, what will end up happening is a random draw of uh, the absentee ballots out of there. So there, there's no way to actually match up the vote to the envelope being rejected. So it would be a random draw of a ballot out of there before the, the count begins again. So that's, I think that's an important thing to know. Okay. Council, for the record, could you um, ask that your terminology of ballot refer actually to the ballot versus the envelope? For the sure. So that yeah, so for the record, we're, we're looking at, at objections to the envelope. Okay. So the point of clarification, so Mr. Boygan doesn't mark the back of the ballot with the number from the absentee envelope. Some do, some don't. It's a mystery. It's you a mystery. don't. Okay, so the ballots are not marked or identified with respect to the envelope. They're, they're identified as an absentee ballot, but not a number. Numbered, so you can't match the ballot to the envelope Correct. in any condition. Okay, Correct. it's consistent with some, but not all counties. Correct. All right. So the first one is Robert England. I'm just going to ask if there's an objection to Robert England's ballot or envelope. I'm sorry, envelope. No objection. No objection. No objection. Thank you. Matelko. John Matelko. Is there an objection? No objection. John. No objection. Alan Nowak. No objection. No objection. Kate Van Wattingen. Very good. No objection. No objection. Teresa Wyman. No objection. No objection. Walter Wyman. No objection. No objection. Domingo Ibanez. Thank you. No objection. No objection. And for the record, the clerk is following guidance from the Wisconsin Elections Commission. Correct. That's procedure with respect to filling in parts of the address. Correct. Thank you. All right. Can I ask you a question? Sure. I'm not with either one of the two parties. I'm just an independent observer. We, ask, we answer questions. Up that's up that's to the up, board. up to you. The people who have the privilege of the floor are the three from each side. Yeah. Would I be able to object to those? No. The three people can object to them, which is the primary, the council, for the candidate. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. All right, the bag. You need the bag, Cheryl. I'm second in writing. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> All right, so Ward 19 ballot bag. Do we have an inspector statement? Yeah, so, okay. Um, sir, the person that asked uh, if you could, could you just give me your name, please? Brad. Uh -huh. Unky, U-N-K-E. Okay, thank you. We just have everybody else's name that said things, We're just but I don't verify know. that the seal is on here. It's yes. one, one, four, five, seven, three, two. That's correct. Has the bag been open since election night? This bag has not been. Could you repeat the number of the bag, please? Sure. It's 1145732. Thank you, Madam Clerk. You're welcome. No. 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 Okay. okay. So the plan is to open the ballots and count the ballots together, the whole total of the ballots, and compare that to the tape. And then we will separate out the absentee ballots. So are we looking at this number? 
Total. This one for 19. Yes. And what's on? Yes. And it's like, is this coming out of the DS200? DS200. No, we have a clear cast. Okay. Yeah. I, I, we weren't able to. We have it. a clear cast machine. He asked what machine. And who's the manual? Is that ESS, Dominion, Sequoia? It's clear ballot. Oh, clear ballot. We are the, yes. Yes, you're one I of the think, only. Counties. I think there's two yes. in the state now that have clear ballot. And what was the ma the model number, please, of the clear ballot machine? And, and if you don't have that, Madam Clerk, we can get that order. Where is the inspector um, statement? It is on the inspector statement. All right. The machine serial number is C as in cat, C as in cat, D as in dog, 04190315. Thank you, Madam Clerk. You're welcome. All right. So we put them in the stacks of 50. Do you want to take some and check that's yes. Yes. Uh, just counting. We're just counting. So to make sure that we have enough. We're not. Right. We're not. Yes. Yeah, so you don't really, unless you are looking at you our counting. We're not. <laughs> we're not looking if they are. So we're just putting them in stacks, stacks of fifty. Yes. Yeah. May I look at the tape? The election tape. I'm not familiar with the best practice. What comes out of the oh, tape? Um, the tape. Oh, the tape. So this is what Kate prints out at the end of the night. And at that, that ward is, that polling location is District 10, actually. It's 19 and 20. So 19 is on the tape, and then 20 is on the tape as well. And then a grand total of all the ballots that went in those. Just a reminder, yeah, there's a lot of yeah, side talking. So when people are talking quietly at the table, it will not necessarily get picked up and your conversations on the side may so just let the people at the table speak please thank you and, and real quick if you don't mind what was the time stamp on the bag you just opened on the night of the election just a time stamp is that in there no. it is not just that it's sealed though just that it's sealed. so no time stamp thank you yes um sometimes there's a machine that you can record a vote um, without necessarily doing a ballot. Was there any of that or were there all ballots? Do you know what I'm talking about? Is it, are you ta uh, like an ADA machine maybe? That are, are, yes. We have a clear access machine that actually if they vote on that machine, it produces a ballot. Okay. So all ballots, these are, all ballots would be in here. There's not any electronic ballots that are okay. with the clear ballot machine. And that, that ballot is inserted into the correct reader. so it would be a ballot in here. Yep. Does yes. it print the same size yes ballot? it prints exactly that the same mm -hmm. that's one of the benefits <coughs> the absentee ballots are in this stack. yes so we'll pull those aside mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which one is this 50 
We're not checking the word number, we're just counting. Okay. They're separated at the end of the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Make yeah. sure that they're all 19 so that there's no 20. Oh. Okay. Good call. So, as you recount them, make sure that it says 19 on the back, not 20, because they all went in the same pot. You want to explain that? Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to explain. So, 19 and 20 wards go in the same bucket at the end of the night, and they are tasked after the end of the night to separate them into 19 and 20, so we're going to go ahead So when you counted, how many were you supposed to have versus how many you had? 277, and we, had, we hadn't counted each other's stacks, but we had two more, so we're going to count again looking at the word numbers. So you have 279 total is what you're saying then? Or 20 ballots. Oops. <laughs> They're tired at the end of the night. So 
compared to, are you yeah. okay for me asking? One pump, second, pump. are we done counting before we start um, talking? These have been counted and checked, so that's another 50. Okay, so 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, and 27 make 277, which is what the tapes say. And is that what the inspector statement says, Marge? Yes. Cheryl, can we put these by the bell for I, Yeah, what, can I get that? So let me just say for the record what you're, that how many ballots you've got that were worth 20 and what you're going to do with them. Okay. We'd like so, to have those laid out. Oh, sure. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. You, well, you guys can come up and look, and then I'll show them to the other candidate. The ballot, the ward number is here. Okay, they should just yep. stay in public. So that's, View so that they don't when we open up the ballot bag, though, we'll have to insert those into the Ward 20's ballot bag. Well, we should make a note of which ballots there are. There's no number on them. They'll just have to sit there in plain view. And yep. And what was that number from 20 that got commingled? How many? Just like two. Two, two. two ballots Thank were you. in the 19 bag. Thank you. So, well, at the end, there's one machine at the polling location, and it's for district, this was for district 10, which was 19 and 20. At the end of the night, at 8.30 at night, or long people go through and they do yep. this with the 800 ballots, and two of them ended up in the other ward's bag. Can I ask a question? Sure. If there were some commingled okay? in... You guys okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. If there were two put into one bag, mm -hmm. is there another bag for the other? That yes. you see some in that bag? Yes. There could be. And when so we get to 20, if there are, I guess then. You know your numbers coming out of 270, yes. whatever. Yes. And we will verify those. There could two. be yes. in the other bag somewhere. Are you checking that bag? Yes. Well? Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the 277 does not include those two. Correct. Are we all good with 277? Good with yeah, 277. Now we're going to go through them and take out the ones that have initials for absentees. Okay. So on the back, so if they're going that's got an MD, MD no. or an MC, C. Okay. They will be separated. We need to keep these separated. Then I'll do that. No. no, we're not. So we're done with this part. So we are separating the absentee ballots from the regular ballots, the regular ballots. on election day. And we don't yet have to look at the ballot. It's up to you if you want to look at what we're doing with the initials. That's so, how we're determining if it's an absentee ballot or not. I on, on election night, there are two inspectors that sign the back of the ballot. On absentee ballots, the clerk the two does. initials mm -hmm. as opposed to if it's an absentee sent or they voted in person, they'll just be one. Yeah. So this is, this, I'm sorry, do you want me to explain this one? Well, I was going to ask you a question. Yeah. But you can tell it's absentee because it's full. And That's it's one right. thing, but if they had to remake it on election night or something like that, we might not be able to tell. Okay. So there were no remade ballots. You wouldn't say anything about it. This is our remade. So if there was an absentee ballot that they would have to remake, the original would be in here. And it's zero. So it's zero. This one was done at the nursing home by our SVDs, so it's an, it's still an absentee ballot, but it's initialed differently. Gotcha. And then, the yep. case, were there any spoiled ballots? That would be the yellow envelope. We didn't notice anything in the poll books. That That's indication. We do indicate it in the poll books if there was, but there is no spoiled ballots. Thank you. Thank you. And then we just can all keep going in the same pile. I'm sorry. I mean, once yes, we, we get going, one done, we can, okay. Yes, we're going to count the grand total of the absentees.
25, 50, 75, 100, 110. Is that what it says in the poll book? Is that what it says on the inspector right here. log? Yes. Oh, is that so many envelopes we had? Yes. yes. Everything One matches. Two. Okay. Nice job, ladies. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to look at the ballots. So now as we sort, let me kind of change that a little bit. So as we sort, I think we're going to have you look in whatever pile they go in, we're sorting by candidate. Um, and if there are any objections at that time, and then we'll count them, okay? So we have, we're going to sort into four piles. A pile for, yeah, yes, please, this especially. This doesn't need to be here. Um, Joseph Heidemann, Andre Walton, if there are any write-ins, and if somebody chose not to vote for a person as well. Sorry, we have to do one by one so that if there's any objections to them. Okay, so one. Where are we starting? So where are we saying? Let's start in the middle with March. March is kind of hold it up. Um, it up. Yeah, maybe put it um, up. We can only I have, what, three, 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 three on each side? Yeah. So on this one, it's the bottom one. So Ford, Joseph. Joseph. Can, yeah, can you, can us three see that? Yeah, okay. I can see. All right. Joseph. Mm -hmm. Joseph. Yes. If somebody can't see, let me know. This is how we're going to try to do it. Andre. 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 Yes. Mickey Mouse on there. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yep. So yeah, we're like the bottom <laughs> one. Yeah. Joseph. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Madam Clerk, well, are you going to hand before? count these once you yes. do that? Or? Yes, we're going to sort first and then put them in files. From the tape, how many <clears throat> undervotes were there for this race? Just so we have a yep. sense of what's going on. Seven, it looks like. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Yeah, so if you, yeah, if you, 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 you can lean over, and okay. you can see it before. Joseph? Andre, what would you know? I'm just yes. looking at who you okay. asked the question. You're good. Andre? <laughs> not great. Joseph? <laughs> You're great. Andre? Andre? Joseph? Andre? Joseph? Andre? Joseph? 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 Andre? Joseph? Andre? Joseph? 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 Andre? Joseph? Andre? No vote? Joseph? Andre? Joseph? Joseph? Andre? 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 Joseph? 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 No vote? Andre? 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 Joseph? A write in? A write in? The name is there written in there? Joseph Reinhold on both of them. Both of them. Okay. Reinhold. But there were no registered write ins no. for that selection. Right. So Thank no. you. Yes. <clears throat> Andre? Joseph? Andre? Andre? Joseph? Joseph? Andre? 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 Joseph? Andre? This one? No. This one? one? This one. All right. Joseph? 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 Andre? Andre? Joseph? Joseph? Andre? Andre? Joseph? 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 Andre? Joseph? Andre? Joseph? 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 Andre? Andre? Joseph? Joseph? Andre? 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 Joseph? Joseph? Andre? Joseph? Andre? Novo? <clears throat> Joseph? Joseph? Andre? Joseph? Andre? Joseph? Joseph? Andre? Joseph? Joseph? Andre? Andre? Joseph? Andre? Joseph? Joseph? 
Andre, Joseph, Novo, Joseph, 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 Andre, Andre, Joseph, Andre, 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 Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, 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 Andre. Joseph, <laughs> Joseph, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, <coughs> Andre. Your arm gives out that quickly. Yeah, no, I know. For the boomers. <laughs> no. that's, that's my left thing. arm, too. Oh, that's my left arm. <laughs> then you're a lefty. So I, no, I'm not a lefty. Oh. Joseph, yeah, that would be strong. Joseph, Andre. Andre, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Andre. Joseph, 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 and Joseph. Right. Can you see the, the unmarked or the noble? Yeah, let's just, let's so just check the circles of all three of those to make sure there's nothing colored in. I don't want to touch them. Oh, you want? Oh, you want to? Oh, you want to, want to we, and we still have these to go. Do you oh, want to? I'm sorry. That's okay. Do you want to wait till we're done, or yeah, do you want? That's okay. Fine. Okay. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. Nope. I'm Absolutely. Switch spots. No, I'm okay. I, 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 I want to. I need some ice. Get some of that arm. I know. I, oh my God, it's my Fitbit too. Yeah. Look how many steps I've got. Oh. 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 I'm sitting there. Cheater. Oh. Joseph. Joseph, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, 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 Andre. Andre, 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 Joseph, Joseph, Andre, 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 Joseph. No vote. Andre. 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 Joseph. Andre. 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 Joseph. Joseph, Joseph, take a look. This is one, yes. Okay. Joseph, Andre, 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 Andre. Andre, 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 
Andre, Andre, Andre, Novo, Joseph, 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 Andre, 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 Joseph, Andre, 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 that's a blue hat, <laughs> Joseph, Andre, 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 Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, 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 Joseph, Joseph, Noble, Andre, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, 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 Andre, 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 Joseph, Joseph, and Joseph. So you like these laid out? Yeah, just, okay. just the, yeah. So I'm going to give the... Uh, Martha, if you would take Andre's and start separating them in piles of 25. And if you would take Joseph Vigilant and put them in 25. And then I will... It would be easier if I just laid them out there if you all want to look at them. Oh, or I can put four on this side and four on that side. However, they are. Yeah, yep. What's the total, Dan? Is it six or seven? Seven. Seven. Got it. Boxes. And then the right end, Dan, is a two. On your left, two. two. And who are they both? Okay. The right ends. Sorry. Uh, they're not registered right ends, so that would be relevant. Yeah, it's going to school district. They're only the judge.
Done so I'm going to recount what she counted in stacks of 25. 
I want to personally thank my kindergarten first and oh. second grade teacher for teaching me to count, count to count. Yes. <laughs> there you go. All right. So this is the pile. Let's, let's do this here. Let's just push these aside. tally so you're just doing a tally mark on how many stacks of 25 mm -hmm. you have okay so this is the stacks for Joseph Heidemann okay. so how many stacks of 25 I'm gonna put ta tally marks yep. right here mm -hmm. four of them yep. oh, just in this okay. and then you can Total what you have, and then you have an extra stack. Okay. So four of twenty-five. Do you need a calculator? I'm just, I'm just being like. <laughs> so that's a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have your random, your other stack that's not twenty-five that you need to add in. Okay, and that goes over here. Yep, you just add it. Mm -hmm. How much was the little pile? 24. And that's just Ward 19. That's just Ward 19 for, and that was for Joseph Heidemann. Never heard of it. <laughs> and the same thing for Andre Walton then. You're going to tally. I'm sorry. What was total? 124. <laughs> The little stack is 19. I don't know where the calculator went. What are you looking for? We were using a phone. The calculator. Oh, sorry. It's okay. You what you needed. That's okay. <clears throat> Ballots that were right in. Yep. And on the tape for Ward 19, older person District 10, Heideman 124, Walton 144, right in 2. Yes. Any objections to anything we just did? Just a clarification. Yes. The 110 absentee ballots were commingled yes. with the, yes. the same. We just separated them yep. to count them yep. to match the envelope. Thank you, madam. You're welcome. But they're not counted separately. They're not counted separately. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's Ward 19. Did you want to also mention this? Mike? Yeah. There were no provisional ballots, which for either one of the wards. Okay. And there were seven ballots that didn't vote for this position. Correct. There were that were no votes. Yes. Or this, they voted for other things, maybe. So the totals on those sheets are yes. two seventy seven to twenty. We add those two candidates plus the two. No. Well, if we would add plus this seven. plus this, yes. So we counted all the ballots and that's what we counted initially, which was the 277, but broke it down for the aldermatic race, which had seven no votes. Okay, so, so we could count one. Do you want to add this for them, please, Marge, on the calculator or Martha? One, sure. 124, 124 plus 144. Plus two. 144 plus, plus two plus, two plus seven. seven. Equals 277. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. That's one word. Do we want to take a break before we do the other one? What do you guys think? It's, it's 1130. Or do you want to start doing the poll books and then take a lunch break? What would you guys want to do?
We can do the book. We'll do the we'll do the book. We'll do the book and then we will take a break. So we will yes. Yeah. So do some Elsa's housekeeping. We need to do two plus the seven. You want to do that first? Sorry. In case there's any questions. I don't know that I want to secure it until there's any questions. Yes. We take, do you want to secure it first or is there some questions of 20? I think it's, it's, oh, because they were all in one place. So, yeah. so you can't secure them yet because you don't there have 20s to There might be 20 to do, you know, that kind of thing. Right. So we'll put, them, we'll put the ballots in back in the purple bag with the, can you open that? Yes. One? Thank you. Do you have another seal? Yeah, we're not going to seal it yet just because of the 20 that we took out, the two right. that we took out of 20. Okay. Do you want the tape in there too? But this tape went with the inspector's tape. You're right. It's up here. Okay, could you fold that up and put it in? We're going to need it again for Ward 20, but. All right, let me let me read what I need to read first. Yeah. All right, right. Ward right. 20. Page. Okay. So Ward 20 is in District 10 in, good. Good. in the city of Sheboygan. The original vote total was 548. Uh, the number on the poll list was 549. There was one vote added to the total vote at the Board of Canvases, so that made it 549 as well. There were 169 absentee ballot applications. The number of absentee ballot cast was 141. However, we added one at the Board of Canvases, Canvassers as well, which brought it up to 142. There were two rejected absentee ballot envelopes at this ward. So that's the summation of Ward 20. And we're just going to reconcile the full books now. You can get to read the other stuff. All right, we're going to start with a page two. A home Richard 45. Yes. Aholm Sandra 46. Yes. Adamovich David 423. Yes. Aldig Robert 44. Yes. Aldig Sandra 43. Yes. Page 3. Ayers Brian 56. Yes. Page 4. Ayers Peggy 22. Yes. B. Edward. I'm even stumped on that. I'm sorry I about that. Um, Bajek. Bajek. B A J C Z Y K. It's Edward. Irish. That's an Irish name, isn't Bajic. it? Bajic. 209. Jillian Bajek. 210. Joseph, I'm sorry, Balkaitis. Joseph, 454. Yes. Barrow, Dennis, 179. Artson, Deborah, 172. Yes. Page six, Baus, Kathleen, 195. Baus, Vernon, 194. Beek, Frederick, 190. Page seven, Beek, Juanita, 189. Birchmans, Danielle, 57. Bergen, Karen, 213. Bergen, Paula, 456. Bergen, Thomas the fourth. 218. Bergen, Deborah, D E B E R A H, 58. Yes. Page 8. Berg Schultz, James, 153. Berg Schultz, Kevin, 539. Berg Schultz, 
Patricia, 154. Berlin, Jamie, 212. Bickler, James, 41. Page 9. Bowenstangel, Henry, 232. Bowenstangel, Jane Caroline, 231. Boren, James, 174. Boren, Marilyn, 173. Page 10. Bull, Dwayne, 59. Forth, Lynn, 233. Battelle, Deborah, 61. Battelle, Timothy KB, 78. Bowen, Floyd, 79. Bowen, Sharon, 80. Page 11, Brower, Nancy, 81. Bryrather, Sandra, 82. Brickley, Leo, 8. Page 12, Brookins, Barrow, Robinette, 254. Bratz, James, 34. Page 13, Brown, Stephen, 29. Brown, Thomas A., 505. Brula, Matthew, 543. Page 14. Broombauer, Dennis, 377. Broombauer, Sandra, 376. Brussy, Allen, 159. Buckley, Ross, Shane, 455. Page 15. Budnick, Kathleen, 83. Madrecki, Elmer, 84. Birch, Kathy, 514. Birch, Michael, 319. Burkhart, Jim, 184. Page 16. Bush, Cynthia, 26. Bush, Jeremiah, 27. Page 17, no voters. C. Kenora, Catherine, 85. Cantrell, Chad, 484. Page 19. Chaffee, Kenneth, 165. Chaffee, Sandra, 166. Church, Rodney, 252. Page 20. Church, Sharon, 251. Clark, Connie S., 433. Clark, Sean Q., 434. Cobb, Stephen, 13. Page 21. Coulter, Victory Elaine. 139. Oops. No voters on 22. D. Daynert, Karen, 86. Damcott, Julie, 87. Dankwart, Janet, 88. Page 24. Dankwart, John, 354. Davis, Don, 299. Davis, Dorothy, 298. Davis, Jean, 89. Davis, Leslie, 49. Page 25, De Bruin, Meredith, 378. De Bruin, Todd, 498. Dakarski, Michael O, 9. Page 26, De Pachter, Kyle, 90. De Roos, David, 20. De Roos, Mary Jean, 91. DeVore, Jeanette, Janet, 32, Dewey, Terry, 129, page 27, Dickman, Henry, 92, Dickman, Patricia, 93, Diener, Stephanie, 386, page 28, Donneville, Donna, 262, Donneville, Emil, 263, Dortmund, Bill, 94, Dortmund, Cindy, 95, page 29, Draves, John, 40, Draves, Linda, 39, Drescher, Connie, 246, Drescher, Jonathan, 156, page 30, okay, Dunn, Helen, 96, Dunton, Charles, 426, Dunton, Leo, 30. E. Page 31. Eberhardy, Judith Ellen, 97. Eckert, Karen, 10. Alert, Del Delano, 
440. Erdman, Danette, 235. Evans, Beverly, 98. Page 32. Evert, Michael, 54. Evert, Susan, 55. S. Page 33. Fair, Susan, 100. Folly, Cindy, 274. Folly, William, 275. Boucher, Gloria, 256. Feldy, Derek, 101. Page 34. Fessler, David, 102. Fessler, Sandra, 103. Page 35. Fifth. Zoe, X O E R E L, 42. Philipsy, Dennis, 244. Faust, Kathleen, 151. Faust, Malcolm, 152. Fox, Daniel, 359. Fox, Pamela J, 358. Foy, Bonnie J, 6. Page 36. Frank, uh, Frank, Robert C, 340. Fredericks, Amy K, 268. Fredericks, Susan, 243. Fierst, page 37. Fierst, Elizabeth A, 387. Page 38 in the G's. Gabrielson, Cody, 446. Gahagan, Carolyn, 381. Page 39. Gahagan, Patricia, 36. Gahagan, Patrick C, 35. Gam, Charles, 537. Gam, Pamela, 388. Page 40. Gebler, Jack. 150. Gebler, Jean, 149. Geibel, Gerald, 164. Geiger, Gerald, 501. And that was Junior? Correct. Thank you. Page 41. Gensch, Howard, 226. Gensch, Susan, 225. Gens, with a Z, Emily, 137. Gens, Thomas, 138. Gerber, Bonnie, 104. Gerber, Don, 227. Gerhardt, Janet L., 63. Page 42. Burke, Steve, 425. Geezy, Megan, 509. Geeson, Marjorie, 105. Giles, Christopher, 237. Gilmer, Brian. Wait a minute. What was Giles? Oh, I'm sorry, 236. Thank you. I did say seven. <laughs> Gilmer, Brian, 409. Page 43. Goldman, Ronald, 177. <coughs> Goldsmith, Anthony, 178. Okay. Whoops, we have an issue here. <clears throat> They're just a so we have to make that decision. And it's just the, the looks like. Okay, so as a board, this is the county book. This is the one they sign, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. So 177 is in gold, Goldman Ronald. Mm -hmm. And it can see we can see that Gail Goldman signed under Gail Goldman. Correct. But it looks like the sticker got put from in. the city book was put in the wrong Place. person's name. So we just note that in the minute, Cheryl, that what is name in the page? city book on page 43, voter number 178 should be under Gail Goldman. And how do you see ends? Gail, G-A-I-L. Goldman, G-O-L-D-M-A-N-N. -N. And it was put under Anthony Goldsmith. 
Do you all agree? I agree. I agree. I mean, she signed. I mean, her signature is yes. here. His we'll signature is here. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Good. So yes. we'll we'll just make a note of it, and um, then when we put, put well, she's got it in the minutes. Yeah, but yes, if you put, put a sticky note, so that, that that would be great. Yeah, yes. because when, when we uh, make no, them. no, no, he did not. He did not vote. Okay. Anthony did not vote. Okay. Okay. All right. Go on. Okay, that's mm -hmm. on forty-three. Yep. Okay, page. 44. So page forty-four. Bra, Yolanda, one sixty-seven. Grams. Bradley, 447. Grauman, Becky, 389. Great Greetings, Gretchen, 240. Greetings, Kevin, 239. Page 45. Gregor, Timothy E., 48. Griffith, Claudette, 106. Griffith, John, 107. Grow, Brendan, 108. Page 46, Granke, Germain, 109, Grunert, William G., 16, Gunlock, Geraldine, 449, Gunlock, Kenneth, 448, H's. <clears throat> no voters on page 47. On page 48, Ronald Halverson, I'm sorry, Ronald, 65. Page 49, Hansen, Shannon Lee, 110, Harmelink, Derek, 33. Page 50, Harris, Lori, 391, Harris, Michael Lee, 392, Harrison, John P., 269, Harrison, Patricia, 270. Page 51, Hartwig, Kyle, 508. Harvat, Catherine, 183. Hassler, Darlene, 393. Hassler, Wesley, 394. Heidemann, Joseph, 234. Page 52. Heinemann, Robert, 413. Heinen, Lucinda, 180. Heinen, Steve, 181. Heinrich, Barbara, 441. Page 53, Hemsing, Jerome, 111. Hemsing, Joseph, 287. Hinkle, Elaine, 112. Page 54, Hengst, Barbara, 271. Hengst, Bruce, 272. Heinrichs, Patricia, 114. Herber, Kevin, 494. Herber, Lisa, 375. Page 55. Herman, Mark, 228. Page 56. Hildebrand, Deet, 488. Hildebrand, Neil, 489. Hill, Tracy, 515. Hilpertshauser, Anne, 21. Hilpertshauser, David, 437. Page 57. Hilt, James, 15. Hilt, Karen, 14. Hinsey, Charlene, 115. Hinsey, Mark, 116. Ford, Bonnie, 117. Hodgel, June, 278. Page 58. Hodzinski, John, 463. Hoffman, Allison, 118. Hogan, Julie, 204. Hone, Barbara, 276. Hone, Wallace, 277. Page 59. Pertini, Dawn, 500. Page 60, no voter. Five. Page 61. Ignatowski, Christine, 119. Ignatowski, Paul, <coughs> 120. Jays. Jacobs, Tanya, 70. Jacoby, Paul, 121. Jacoby, Sandra, 122. Janny, Sharon, 519. Page 63. Jensen, Carla, 123. Jensen, Thomas, 124. 
Johnson, J-O-H-N-S-E-N, -E Nancy, 160, page 64. Johnson, Richard C., 161. Johnson, S-O-N, Bradley, 445. Johnson, Eric, 125. Johnson, Shelley, 534. Page 65, Jeanette, Thomas, 525. Case. Page 66, Caston, Sandra, 126. Keel, Mary, K E I L, 127. Keel, Walter, 128. Page 67, Kleckner, Marls, 131. Page 68, Klein Hunas, Klein Hunas, 75, Cluck, Patrick, 199. Page 69, Kober, Karen, 241, Koenig, Michael, 222, Koenig, Victoria, 223. Page 70, Kupf, Pat Patricia, 280, Kupf, Timothy, 281. Krause, Joanne, 279. Krebsbach, Judith, 113. Krebsky, Mary, 379. That was page, page 71. Yep. Page 72. Krieger, Brian, 230. Krieger, Kimberly, 229. Krushki, Dennis, 132. And that was Junior? Yes. Page 73, Huntsman, Agnes, 133, Else, Lamb, Joel, 462, Landgraf, Peter, 486, Landgraf, Sandra, 485, page 75, Lane, David, 471, Lane, Julie, 465. Lance, Sandra Lee, 135. Larson, Eric, 141. Larson, Marie L, 142. Page 76. Lawrence, Deanna, 431. Lawrence, Robert, 430. Page 77. Lemahieu, Barbara, 416, Lemahue, Larry, four, oh, I'm sorry, right. Lemahue, yes. Barbara, 417, Lemahue, Larry, 416, Lemahue, Randall, 364. Are we getting to the M's? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's F. I just said F. Just about. All right, page 78, Leonard, L-E-N-H-A-R-D-T, Lawrence, three, Leonard, L-E-O-N-H-A-R-D, Herman, 73. Lewandowski, Louise, 143. Lewandowski, Thomas, 144. Linder, Ryan, 452. No voters on page 79. And no voters on 80. Um. <laughs> All right, I need Mark, to right. <laughs> Me too. Ready? I'm good. Page 81, Mahler, Debbie with an I, 168. Mahler, Rudy F. Jr., 140. Mize, M-A-I-S, Charles, 395. Page 82. Malwitz, Joyce, 69. Manchin, Michael, 176. Page 83, Martin, Christine, 429. Martin, David, 288. Matt Stick, Christine, 544. Page 84, Matzdorf, David, 289. Matzdorf, Susan, 290. McCormick, Sharon, 205, McNellis, Chelsea, 419, 
McNellis Catherine 291 page 85 Menzer Daryl 147 Menzer Ivan 146 Messick Laurel 187 Messick Mark 188 page 86 <coughs> Meyer Constance 396, Meyer Eileen 292, Meyer Frederick 397, Meyer Reinbold Claudia 527, Michaud Jacqueline 293. Page 87, Miles Caitlin 390, Miller Barbara 175, Miller Marilyn 424. Miller, Randall, 163. Miller, Rosalie, 467. Page 88, Mock, Richard, 155. Page 89, Moore, M-O-H-R, Jean, 295. Moore, 290. I'm sorry, 294. Moore, M-O-H-R, Margaret, 295. Monlock, Cecilia, 296. Montgomery, Marguerite, 398. Page 90. Moore, M O O R E, Kyle, 3, 535. Moore, Victoria, 399. Morales, Dana, 25. Morgan, Christine, 297. Moss, Myrtle, 99. Miller, M U E L L E R, Roger, 438. <laughs> Page 91, Miller, M-U-E-L-L-E-R, Tricia, 198, Miller, William, 439, Munch, 237, Muth, Timothy, Munch, number Sam, four. Shannon, right? Shannon, Munch. Shannon, Michelle, Munch. Yep. And Muth, Timothy, number four. Wait. I have, a, I have Nicole. Timothy. Mm -hmm. All right. So... Page and this looks page this 91, is 91. There was a four in the county book for Timothy Booth. M O T H. M U. M U. I'm sorry. M U T H. And there was a four put in the city book for under Nicole. Nicole. There's a signature for Timothy. In the county book. Martha so similar to last time. Yes, right. Is so Nicole the same last name? Um, yes. And again, Our, Nicole did not vote. Correct. Do we do we are we agree with Martha yes. and Marge that yes. it should be yes, Timothy's vote? Timothy's vote. Yes. Yes. Okay. And we're going to mark that so we correctly count the right vote in the system. Okay. okay. All right. <clears throat> Page 92, Knack, Cheryl, 545, Knack, Joanna, 442, Knack, Thomas, 443, Knack, Timothy, 546, Nardi, Darlene, 186, page 93, Newman, Donald, 283, Newman, Patricia, 282. Page 94, Notham, Sharon, 520. Novak, Donna Marie, 428. Novak, John Wayne, 427. Page 95, Nyheis, Lois, 267. Oh. Page 96. O'Brien, Joseph, 530, Etzel, Lorraine, 300, Etzel, Michael, 211, page 97, Oldenburg, Rhonda, 197, Opkanorth, David, 476, Opkanorth, Mary, 475, page 98, Orth Ariel 301, Orth Sally 302, Orth Thomas 303. 
Ortiz, page 99. Pachniak, Patricia, 518. Pachniak, Paul, 284. Page 100. Parks, Susan, 67. Parks, Terry, 68. Pat, Pat Nody, Dwight, 461. Page 101. Paul, Gary, 304. Paul, Lori, 366. Page 102. Peterson, Gloria, 305. Van Cook, Scott, 495. Fister, Gustav, 306. Fister, Lois, 169. Fister, Ronald, 170. Fister, Vera, 307. Page 103. Pilzel, Robert, 308. Pitch, Mary Jo, 410. Pitch, Stephen, 411. Pitner, Jean, 457. Pitner, Peter, 458. Page 104. Pleasants, John, 248. Pleasants, Shirley, 249. Ponzio, Ricky, 137. Poole, 136. Judith, I'm sorry, 136, my mistake, 136. Mm -hmm. Poole, Judith, 5. 105, Price, Mark, 221. There are no cues. Page 106, R's. Radke, Bonnie, 38. Radke, Thomas, 36. 37. Sorry. It's okay. Ron Roger, 453. Raleigh Leanne, 496. Raleigh Robert, I'm sorry. Raleigh Randy Robert, 497. Page 107. Redick Roxanne, 220. Reichendorfer Peter, 62. Reif Frank, 309. Reinbold, Douglas, 258. Reinbold, Heidi, 257. Reinbold, Kristen, 464. Reinbold, Michael, 171. Page 108. Reinecke, David, 310. Reinecke, Grace, 311. Reinemann, Todd, 415. Reichenaller, Margaret, 437. 430. I'm 435. Gosh, I should give it back to you. 435. Recolitis, Grace, 312. I think there are more in the second half. Yes, that's kind of <laughs> 109. Renzelman, with two N's at the end. James, 17. Rapenshek, Betty, 468. Page 110. Rapenshek, Thomas, 469. Resch, David, 247. Reta Galiata, Daniel, 53. Reta Galiata, Dawn, 52. Retzak, Thomas, 77. Rexax, R E X A C H, Raphael, R A F A E L, 313. Rexax, R E X A C H, T I, 314. Page 111. Rhodes, R-H-O-D-E-S, Jeffrey, 315. Rhodes, R-H-O-D-E-S, Victoria Lynn, 316. Richardson, Greg, 538. Richardson, Joe, 201. Richardson, Mary, 200. Page 112, Richardson, Renee, 224. Richter, Stephen, 482. Page 113, Ryman, Thomas, 31, Rint, Joshua, 23, Rint, Kimberly, 372, Rissy, Keith, 450, Rissy, Mary, 451, Risto, Denise, 418, Risto, Kenneth, 51. Page 114, Rit, Allison, 260. Ritt, Jr., Jeffrey, 261. 
Robbins K317, Robinson Charles 206. Page 115, Robinson Marissa 487, Robinson Nancy 540. Page 116, Rosenthal John 479, Rosenthal K 478, Rothy Piggy 196. 117, Ruona Jason 253, Ruona Linda 531, Russert Jean 318, Russert Ronald 323. Page 118, Sager, S-A-E-G-E-R, Trevor, 182, Salas, Joanne, 50, Salvador, Pulos, Susan, 385. Page 119, Sass, Deborah, 320, Sass, Michael, 412, Sass, Richard, 321. Page 120. Shellbauer, S C H E L B A U E R, Charlotte, 207. Shellbauer, Dwayne, 208. Schlafke, Mary, 400. Schlafke, Steve, 402. 121. Schmitz, S C H M I T Z, John, 401. Schmitz, same last spelling, Julie, 548. Schmidt, same last spelling, Karen, 19. Page 122. Schmitz, S-C-H-M-I-T-Z, Mark, 547. Schnelli, Deborah, that's D-E-B-O-R-A, 259. Shamer, Jerome, 324. Page 123. Shane, Barbara, 215. Shane, James, 216. Schlotz, Justin, 506. Schlotz, Catherine, 337. Schrader, Christopher, 71. Schrader, Kathleen, 459. Schrader, Peter, 406. Four, I'm sorry, 460. Mm -hmm. Schultz, S-C-H-U-L-T-Z, Alice, 28. Page 124. Schultz, S-C-H-U-L-Z, Kathleen, 325. Schultz, S-C-H-U-L-Z-E, Amy, 326. Schultz, S-C-H-U-L-Z-E, Ronald, 328. Page 125. Schwobe, William, 162. Sankfile, Chad, 2. Sarah, S-E-R-R, -R, Joanne, 330. Sarah Kenneth, 331, page 126. Shank, Kevin, 408. Shank, Laura, 217, page 127. Shaver, Joseph, 365. Shaver, Tracy, 507. Shaw, Troy, 513, page 128. Seach, Kathleen, 332. Simmons, S-I-M-E-N-Z. Sheila, 157. Simmons, Simmons, William Jr., 158. Simmons, S-I-M-M-O-N-S. Richard Jr., 367. Page 129. Simmons, Audrey, 483. Sipple, Faye, number one. Page 130, Sobchak, Kevin, 517, Sobchak, Monica, 516, Sommerfeld, F-E-L-D-T, Michael, 403, Summersberger, Mary, 333. Page 131, Summersberger, Thomas, 334, Sorensen, James, 466. Sorensen Joanne 360, Sorensen Zachary 335. Page 132, Stalter John 286, Stalter Judith 285, Stauber Nathan 512, Steele Julie 432, 
Steele, Robert, 329, Steen, Dwayne, 477. Page 133, Stein, Arthur, 134, Steinbrooker, Colleen, 528, Steinbrooker, John, 529, Steinbrooker, Martha, 148, Steinbrooker, Philip, 66, Steinbrooker, Robert, 336, Steinbrooker, Sandra, 338, page 134, Stelter, Lisa, 420, Stelter, Michael, 421, Stepahar, Shirley, 339, Stinglift, Joanne, 219, page 135, Stefani, Nancy, 368, Stefani, Richard, 369, Stuart, Cameron, 361, Stuart, Kim, 18, page 136, Strojink, Jesse, 480, Strojink, Kelly, 481, Stuckman, Carrie, 203, Stuckman, David, 430, 341, Stuckman, Haley, 202, Sudgeon, Andrew, 510, Sudgeon, Anna, 511, page 137, no, page 138, Toggle, Jason, 499, Tempest, Jane, James, 342, Tempest, Mary, 343, Phil, Andrea, 255, Phil, Lawrence, 490, page 139, Thomas, Daniel, 549, Thomas, Deborah, 382, Thune, Sophie, 344, Tim, Bruce, 414, Tim, Marsha, 238. Page 140, Tautenhooft, Gloria, 322, Tresher, Michael, 185, Tresher, Shelley, 436. Page 141, Tripoli, Diane, 273, Trossen, Jeremy, 444, Trotta, Elizabeth, 266, Trotta, Lee, 265, Tupper, Thomas, 345, Turner, Paris, 370. Page 142, there are no voters. Page 143, Urban, Bruce, 24, Urban, Therese, 532. Page 144, Vandersandy, Dirk, 503. Vander Wheelie, David, 383. Vander Wheelie, Jean, 384. Van Dixhorn, Audrey, 346. Van Dixhorn, Jody, 347. Page 145. Vienendal, Bradley, 542. Vienendal, Nancy, 72. Vienendal, Shannon, 541. Feldkamp, Caitlin, 526. Feldkamp, Lee, 523. Valier, Cindy, 373. Page 146. Valier, Elizabeth, 473. Valier, Jonathan, 374. Valier, Michael, 371. Valier, Rodney, 493. We have to comment on this. He signed here. Brandy H. Oh, Brandy H. Right. Not the same. Well, he just signed in the wrong spot. Okay. So he's running. All right. And they, they indicated it. Okay. He just signed on the wrong line. What page are we on? Okay. What page? <clears throat> page 146. 146. Mm -hmm. Four ninety three. signed on the wrong line. What's the name? Was that arrow drawn by the poll worker? Yes. Uh, well, I don't, I mean, it, we don't, you can't no, tell. It could have been, it it been, been the not right here. Rodney, sorry, Rodney Harold Valier, V E L I E R. Kelly, 493. Okay. Ready? 
but did we see if there were any objections? Are, are there oh. two of them in the book? It's the same person. address. It's the same address. So he's in there twice. There's a Rodney H. and a Rodney Harold. Harold. So that's going to be a junior. No, there's only one that's old. And sometimes yeah. there's duplicate records at the same time. Yeah, that's correct. Right. No objection. Going? Okay. All right. Um, Vernal, Kelly, 191. Vervelde, Jonathan, 348. Page 147, Volmer, Stephen, 7. Page 148, Vorpal, Joseph, 193. Vorpal, Judith, 192. That was V-O-P-A-L. Now it's Vorpal, V-O-R-P-A-H-L. Michael, 380. Ricky, Michael, 64. Hmm? There's four there, Paul there's, and four Paul. Paul. Different addresses. Okay. Yeah. Page 149, there are no folders. Page 150. Wagner, Allison, 264. Weissanen, Patricia, 327. Waldron, John P. Jr., 245. Wallace, Bill, 349. Wallace, Gail, 350. Page 151 has no borders. Page 152. Weber, John, 76. Weber, Teresa, 130. Wyman, Autumn, 491. Wyman, Tracy, 492. Wynaw, Janet, 47. Page 153, Weinhold, Judith, 351. Weniger, Ingrid, 362. Weniger, Jerome, 363. Wentz, Julie, 352. Wentz, Rick, 353. Wentz, Sarah, 355. 154, page. Wessler, Barbara, 356. Wetzel, Jill, 74. Wetzel, Rion, 474. White, Christine, 521. White, Roger, 407. Page 155, Weirman, Doreen, 404. There are no voters on page 156. Page 157. Wood, Carol, order 11. There are no voters on page 158. Now we're in the Ys, page 159. Yancey, Matthew, 406. Yancey, Rachel, 12. There are no voters on page 160 or 161. Page 163, I'm sorry, 162. Zaller, Z-A-L-L-A-R, Linda, 357. Zaller, Tim, 405. Zelm, Daniel, 60. Zemple, Kurt, 524. Page 163, Zeitz, Michael, 242. And Zwick, Amy, 533. Okay. Supplemental page. Vernal, Noah, 145. Tempest, Madeline, 214. Tashima, Emily, 250. Stelter, Caden, one, I'm sorry, 422. I'm assuming this is, yes, they that just way, put it. they just put they it, just, yes. They put it Kren, Eileen, 470. Kren, George, 472. Toggle, Jaden, 502. Evans, Adam, 504. Garnura, Garnuda, Sharon, or Sharo, S H A R O R E, the way it looks, mm -hmm. 522. Mm -hmm. And McKay, Molly, Aaron, 536. These were same day registered. And that's a total of 10 or 11, I'm sorry. 
Chen. Thank you. Okay, so let's just look at the front page of the whole book. Where's the inspector statement? Madam Clerk, yeah. so the supplemental pages are generated from the new registrations in person at the polling location. And when was the poll book generated? The poll book we generated on Friday. Thank you. All right, so just going to look at the numbers. Um, the last number you have is for total number of votes. Last number, last, last order, order number was 549. And the page number of the last voter was marked at 139. Okay. Which it was. And the, number, the number, right number of absentees. Absentee electors was 141 plus one pound at board of canvassers. The ballots and the absentee ballots when we returned from lunch. Yes. Where are you taking us, Madam Clerk? I know, right? <laughs> There's got to be a buy one, get one free around here somewhere. I got to go post an agenda. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, one o'clock. One o'clock? Is that okay with everybody? Mm -hmm. One o'clock. Okay. noon? Is that about noon? It's 12.
All right, we're gonna get started again. Check. All right, you're gonna get the poll book this time, Marge? Yeah. Okay. Should we comment on that right away? Or? No, when we do the, when we do the, that's for the machine. And it's the same machine. Yep. When we do the ballot. This that. is the number for the ward here. Ballots, 548. That's the ballots, but that is plus one. Yeah. 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 All right, so we're gonna start with the absentee ballots. We're gonna go we through. We're reconvening. It is. 104. 104. So we're going to do what we did last time with the ballots, the absentee applications, and the poll book. There are 169 applications for this ward, and there should be 142 ballots cast. So that's what we're doing with the envelopes. Two rejected. So we need the rejected envelope as well. All right, so Martha, you're checking off and I saying am. if they voted, yes. and Marge is checking off in the book to make sure there's an A, mm -hmm. and I'm making sure there's an envelope. <coughs> and we're here. <coughs> yep, nice little slips, just so everybody can see. 169 applications. And 169 applications, 142 ballot, ballots and envelopes. No, I just to make this part. Yeah. Judith, right. Somebody came in and voted in person. How's that going to show up in this after making that? If they had an application, then it'll be in there with we mark these as A's. If they voted absentee, if they voted in person, they sign over they sign over the A. Yeah, not on the A. There wouldn't be an A. The, the we only yes, okay. we indicate an A instead of their signature okay. in the poll in the poll. All right. So if they vote in person, they will have a signature there. And that's where we're using the people, which has the signatures in it. All right, Martha, you want to start right. with the first one? Richard A. Holm. Yes, he voted. Sandra. I'm going to ask you just not to have side conversations because yeah, it gets nope. picked up on yeah, the. If everybody is silent so that all this can get picked up on the mic. Thank you. All right, Sandra A. Holm. Yes, she voted. Brenda Olson. ALF, she did not vote. Brian Ayers voted. If it says voted in person, that is because they voted. Uh, and, oh, yeah. thank you. So just okay. check mark that one that we thank have. You. It. Yes. Danielle Birchman. <clears throat> B E R C H. Danielle Birchman, uh, Weedon Creek. If you want to have an address, I do not have. Yes, Danielle she Marie. Voted. Yes. <clears throat> Deborah Bergen, B E R G I N. Yes, she voted. Marge Belke, B O E H L K E, did not vote. Dwayne Bull voted. <clears throat> um, just a second. Mm -hmm. so is that the one that did not vote? No, there, we wouldn't have an envelope okay. if they did not vote. Gotcha. So that's we just skipped that one because she documented on there that they yeah, did not vote. So this one did vote. <clears throat> All right, so we just did Dwayne Bull. Yep. Um, Deborah Botel, B O U T E L L E, voted. Timothy Botel. Voted. Floyd Bowen. Voted. Sharon Bowen. Voted. Nancy Brower. Voted. Sandra Brirather. Voted. Kathleen Budnick. Voted. <clears throat> Elmer Badrecki. Voted. <clears throat> Catherine Canora. C-A-N. Voted. William Conroy. Voted. 
William? William did not pull. Karen Daynert, D A E H, folded. Dorothy Dallenbach did not fold. Gerald Damcott did not fold. Julie Damcott folded. Janet Dankwart folded. Jean Davis folded. Kyle DePactor. Folded. Lucille DePactor did not fold. Mary DeRoos folded. Henry Dickman folded. Patricia Dickman folded. Bill Dortman folded. <clears throat> Cindy Dortman folded. Helen Dunn, voted. Judith Eberhardy, voted. Beverly Evans, voted. Uh, Susan Fair, F A I R, voted. Derek Feldy, voted. David Fessler, voted. Sandra Fessler, folded. Elizabeth Fierst, F U E, folded. Pamela Gam, G A M B, folded. Jean Gebler, G E B, folded. <clears throat> In person. Bonnie Gerber. Wait, wait, wait. Jean I'm Gebler? Sorry. Yep. She voted in person. She voted in person. So we shouldn't so have a so we so shouldn't, shouldn't have a so that, okay. that so sorry. that's that's what you were asking. Yeah, correct. Because there's a so there was an application for her. She got a ballot. She chose to vote in person instead. So that's why she signed the book. So she's she on had this an application. List. She's on this list, but, but we don't have there. a yes. Just real quick. Yes. Does that make two of those so far? I'm trying to keep track for our council. That what? That voted in person that got an absentee application? Yes. I thought there was one earlier. Um, the one I asked about oh, yes. was voted in person. Which meant that they voted. That, that means that they voted, voted in our here. office. Oh, that way. So Not was, that they. Yeah, I was, so they're still an absentee. Okay, I'll be quiet. So they didn't, <laughs> okay, come in with a, they didn't come in with an envelope and a ballot. They came in with no ballot right. and voted in person. Correct. We don't know where that ballot is. Right. The other one is just mailed to her. She got one mailed to her, and, that, and then she came to the polls and voted that way. She, she was given a ballot at the poll. Yes. Put, so that mail, the one you mailed to her is still out there somewhere. Hopefully she destroyed it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Could I request that you limit yourself to three people in service? Yeah, I was oh, just yeah, coming up because council said if there's something I should, and I'll go sit down now. Is that okay? Okay. Next All right. One. So then are we up to Bonnie Gerber? Yes. She voted. Marjorie Geeson voted. James Graff did not vote. Becky Grauman voted. <clears throat> Claudette Griffith voted. John Griffith voted. Brendan Grow voted. Jermaine Granke folded. Shannon Hansen. Folded. Lori Harris. Folded. Michael Harris. Folded. Darlene Hassler. Folded. Wesley Hassler. Folded. Jerome Hempsing. Folded. Elaine Henkel. Folded. Brian Hendricks. Did not fold. <clears throat> P 
Patricia Henricks. Forwarded. <clears throat> Julie Herman. Did not vote. Charlene Hinsey. Voted. Mark Hinsey. Voted. Bonnie Ford. Voted. Allison Huffman. Voted. Christine Ignatowski. Can we set that aside, please? Sure. Consistent with what we did. Yep. Mm -hmm. Voted. Ignatowski. <coughs> Christine Ignatowski. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Then Paul Ignatowski. Uh, one uh, one there was another ballot that was uh -huh. written in, in the stack. Okay. Uh, polling. Is there a reason other than the address is in red? Do we want to go through the same procedure as the prior Okay, then, that, then there's one in here. I, I thought it was just the um, zip code. But, but, Oh, so what was the number on Christine? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What's the number for Christine? Uh, 119? Yes. Sorry. <clears throat> Paul is 120. Thank you. So 119 and 120? Iganowski. They're both Iganowskis? Yes. Paul is Iganowski. One's Paul and Iganowski. Uh, I'd like to find sure. the call. I'll just let you, yeah, it's you kind of tell me. Place. Yeah, it's in a bit. There it is. Um, Pamela Jam. G A M B. G A M B. What number is that? Three eighty eight. And that was a missing zip code. Uh, and the state. I'm sorry, missing state in what? Is it cold? Thank you. All right, the last one we did was Allison Huffman, correct? Yep, we did that. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, the Ignatowski. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. We put those aside. Yes. Okay. The last okay. one we did Christine and Ignatowski. Yep. We did. We need to do Paul yep. Ignatowski. Okay. Go I'm so Go sorry. Ahead. Yes. Thank you. We were okay. We jumped ahead. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That's okay. okay. Paul Jacoby voted. And Sandra <clears throat> Jacoby also voted. Carla Jensen. Voted. Same Carla Jensen, missing the with state. With C. Yes, Carla with a C and Jensen, J-E-N-S-E-N. -E Voter number, number 123, mm -hmm. missing the state and zip. All right, Carla mm -hmm. Thomas Jensen. Voted. Thomas. Jensen, number one, 124. State and zip. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, Eric Johnson. Forwarded. Sandra Caston. Forwarded. Mary Keel or Kyle. K E I L. Forwarded. Walter Kyle. Also forwarded. Betty Kellner did not fold. Kevin Kellner did not fold. Mar Mar uh, Kleckner Marles um, folded. <clears throat> Krushke Dennis. Voted. Kathleen Krushke. Did not vote. Agnes Kunzman. Voted. Susan Cussard. Did not vote. William Cussard. Did not vote. <clears throat> J. 
Joshua Lampy did not vote. Denise Lane did not vote. Sa uh, Lance Sandra Lee voted. Larson Eric voted. Marie Larson voted. Lewandowski Louise voted. Lewandowski Wait, Thomas. One second. Sorry. <clears throat> Yes. Just like consistency. Okay. So we have L O U I S E Lewandowski L E W A N D O S K E voter number one forty three missing Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and the zip code. <clears throat> so the last one was Louise, Louise, she yes. voted. Okay, yep. And Thomas, Louis. Also, also voted. Yeah. Hold up. Um, <coughs> same thing. Okay. Same thing. Yes. Missing so the same Thomas. Exact thing. Yes, 144. <coughs> Lockman, Magdalene did not vote. Uh, Lorenz, Michael. Did not vote. Lorenz, Molly, Jean. Did not vote. Mace, Charles. Voted. Martin, David. Voted. Matsdorf, David. Voted. Is that one the same? It's got blue ink instead of red. Uh, what does that mean? Either they added it or we added it. I mean, there's no initials, so I can't. <clears throat> to me, the so, writing feels a lot like the address. Yes. This looks the like top. it's the same yeah. writing. So are we good with mm -hmm. Do you still, I mean, it's up to you. We are good with this one, but. No objection. <clears throat> no okay. So that, so was, that was that was David. David yeah. Matstor. Okay. All right, voted. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Susan Matstor. Voted. Same thing. Uh, do you guys agree that it's yes. okay? <clears throat> yes. Uh, McNellis, Catherine. Voted. Meyer, Constance. Voted. Meyer. Eileen. Voted. Meyer. Jackson, not dated. So Eileen Meyer. <clears throat> the voter did not put the date. Is the, date, the date's recorded and was won't, uh, the date it's returned to the clerk's office. Correct. Is that, was that mail? The date is, what's the uh, voter number? Um, sorry. Uh, voter number 292. Yeah, there's a postmark yes. on, the, on the back. And so. we date stamp it. Is that prior to the election or afterward? March 25th March, is when okay. we date stamped it. Okay. So it was re received by your office, received in your office on March 26th before the election. Correct. <clears throat> Do you need anything else, Cheryl? Nope. Okay. So that was Eileen. Did the, that did, is Eileen. Did the, did the, did the group vote on That's this one? Just oh. whether it's. Well, I, it was an objection, so I just put it aside. But right. and technically, it's they not don't. an objection yet at this point. It's okay. just laying aside. And just laying aside. Deal and with then. the objections at the end. Okay. okay. Great. You don't want to put it in a separate pile yeah. for ease of deciding. But up to you, Matt. Or put it in a different, a different category. So. Well, we're, 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 we have, we'll do them one by one when we get get there. So. All right. All right. All right. So we, that was Eileen. Yes. All right. Frederick Meyer, M U I, voted. Um, Michaud, Jacqueline, Bolden. <clears throat> Moore, Jean. What did Bolden. you, Jack? I'm sorry, go I'm sorry. back. I'm sorry. Oh, Where are we? You. you just did. Jacqueline Michaud. Thank you. Thank you. She folded. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. That's okay. 
And now we're up to more, <clears throat> M-O-H-R, Jean Bowden. There we go. All right. Um, uh, more, Margaret. Bowden. Monlock, Cecilia. Bowden. Montgomery, Marguerite. Bowden. Moore, M -O. one second. I'm sorry. Uh, Marguerite, M A R G U E R I T E, Montgomery, M O N T G O M E R Y, order number 398. Zip code was added. <clears throat> you good, Cheryl? Yep. Sorry. Yep. Moore, Moore, M O O R E, Victoria, Bowden. Uh, Morgan Christine Bowden, Newton Robert. Is that N E U? N E W. <clears throat> Robert mm -hmm. did not vote. Etzel Lorraine Bowden, Fourth Ariel Bowden. Fourth, Sally Bowden. Fourth, Thomas Bowden. Paul Geary, P-A-U-L. Bowden. Peterson, Gloria Bowden. Fister, Gustav Bowden. Fister, Vera Bowden. Hilsel, Robert Bowden. Rice, Frank, R E I S. R E I S? F. 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 No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Frank, Bowden. Reineke, R E I N E. Bowden. David. Mm -hmm. Reineke, Grace. Bowden. Recolitis, Grace. Bolded. Rexash, Raphael. Bolded. Rexash, Ty. Bolded. Rhodes, Jeffrey. Bolded. Rhodes, Victoria. Bolded. Robbins, Kate. Bolded. Brona, Linda, R U O N A. Bowden. Russert, Jean. Bowden. Russert, Ronald. Bowden. Schlafke, Mary. Bowden. Schlafke, Steve. Bowden. Schneidman, Nona. Did not vote. Schomer, Jerome, Bolded. Schomer, Margaret, did not vote. Shanig, June, did not vote. Schultz, Kathleen, Bolded. Schulze, Amy, Bolded. Schulze, Ronald, Bolded. Sir, S E R R, Joanne, Bolded. Sir, Kenneth, Bolded. Shakala, Sharon, did not vote. Seek, S I E C H, Kathleen, Bolded. Summerfeld, Michael. Bolded. Summers, okay, Bert. Oh, one second. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Michael Summersfeld. S O M M E R F E L D T. <clears throat> Voter number 403. Missing the state and zip or added. 
Yes. Okay. Mary uh, Summers Burger. <coughs> Mary. Ordered. Summers Burger. Thomas. Ordered. <coughs> Sorensen. Zachary. Ordered. Steinbrecher. Robert. Ordered. Steinbrecher. Sandra. Ordered. Stempiar. Shirley. Ordered. Stuckman. David. Ordered. Taylor, Tammy. T A Y. Did not vote. Tempest, James. Voted. Tempest, Mary. Voted. Sophie Thun, T H U N. Voted. Tupper, Thomas. Ordered. Urban, U R B E N, Tariq. Ordered. Van Dixhorn, Audrey. Ordered. Van Dixhorn, Jody Lynn. Ordered. Verveldi, Jonathan. Ordered. Wagner, Allison. W A G. Let's see what that was. Allison Wagner. So that is, she voted in person. Right. So she's not an absentee. Oh, so she's oh, not an absentee. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Numbers that one? Um, this is number 264. Allison Wagner had an absentee application but voted in person. <clears throat> Then uh, Wallace Bill voted. Wallace Gale voted. Weinholt, W E I N, Judith voted. Wentz, Julie Ann voted. Wentz, Rick voted. Wentz, Sarah. Voted. One second, sorry. Okay. I was seeing Julie Ann say something for each other. Oh, okay. So. Sarah also voted. So Sarah, Sarah went. They're Sarah, good. Sarah went. Yep, I have good it. Yes, that. thank you. Okay. Uh, Wessler, Barbara. Voted. Weirman, Doreen. Voted. Zeller, Linda. Voted. Zeller, Tim. Voted. That's it. That's it. All right. So we'll do the same as we did before. We have you look at these. If you want to counsel. If you want to object to any of them. Why was, why why was this one? was a missing address, zip code, whatever, that would it's going to be in red, correct? Or was there were there other colors used to there yeah. could be other colors used. Okay. No objection. It's consistent with Ward 19. Tags are falling off. So there you are. You, who are. Which one are you? You're the. I'm just saying. You're counsel. Okay. So did you? There was no objection. Is that correct? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
They didn't say anything yet. No. Are we counting this one? No, at the poll. So we are not counting. Oh, okay. Oh, the absentee. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What did you have there? What? There's ten. ten. Is that what you have? That's what I have. But I didn't know it's three tens. Oh, yeah, there's one. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Across the state line, it's going to be a problem. You guys have an objection to any of them? No objections. We don't object to the ones that are just zip code, which were several of them. Or address consistent with what was done with board 19. Mm -hmm. So which do you object, which do you object to? <clears throat> we object to the one lacking an elector filling in the date. As required by statute. Which was 292. Give me a second. I don't know where that is, but I can find it. This one. Okay. We can call it up to the otherwise to get it. Well, we can. Or can we make a decision? I, I think if, if there's yeah. going to be an objection, we should have both sides clearly their objections, okay. and then we'll. Okay. And then the other side can explain why it's not good. Okay. So there's an objection to the Eileen Meyer ballot, yeah. which does not have a date from the voter. Correct. Okay. And so, I think the others were not objecting to. Okay. So let's let's so do let's, this. Yes. If you want to take the nine that are not being objected to and put them back in the stack. Put them back in the stack. As, and uh, so there's only one objection. There's one objection. Do you want, is there anything further that you want to state with regard to your objection? Uh, state statute requires that the elector yes. sign and date the uh, application. And if the, a, envelope. the envelope, if the elector had failed to sign, we would also make the same objection as with the date. Does the other side wish to make a response to that objection? I argue that the, uh, the clerk is the official in charge, the city clerk is the official, mails out the absentee ballots, marks it in whiz vote as a ballot sent. When the ballot's received in the clerk's office, the clerk marks the ballot as received in whiz vote. It's segregated into the proper tub or it's taken to the tabulator for tabulation. The clerk is the gatekeeper. In this instance, the clerk accepted that ballot. The clerk marked it as received. The clerk stamped it with a date stamp that is earlier than the date of the election. The clerk separated it into the tub that went to the proper voting uh, tabulator and the ballot was tabulated. There was no objection by the clerk's office. The clerk is the chief elections officer of the city. The clerk accepted that ballot and voted it. So it seems impossible to be able to cancel. First of all, we can't find the ballot. We don't know which ballot it is. Second of all, uh, the clerk accepted it. If it was a problem, they could have called and written in red like they did with all of the other uh, ballots that were corrected by the clerk, but the clerk accepted it. And uh, I'm not, uh, can, Counselor, can you cite the statute that uh, requires a signature and a date? I'm not familiar with that statute. I, I cannot, as I sit here today. Uh, the envelope was done in compliance with the statute. But it was accepted by the chief elections officer of the city and it was voted. It could have been stopped because it was a zip code or an address or signature, but it was it went through. So it's voted and it's impossible to figure out which ballot it is. Before we move on, can we have just one minute to look up the statute so we can maybe make another? I think I was actually trying to do that myself. So, um, city council. Yeah. So, if, if either side would. There's some statutes.
Yes, we will take a minute to have our council look as That's that's nursing home. Six point seven five. Does anybody do you need more time or are we good to we have a determination? So um, I mean either side can uh, if you've got more evidence than this, but I I find uh, that section six point eight seven sub let me just make sure that it is, sub one sub A C uh, provides that any elector who qualifies under paragraph A, and that's not an issue, may make a written application to the municipal clerk for an official ballot and by means of facsimile transmission or electronic mail. Um, any application under this paragraph need not contain a copy of the applicant's original signature. An elector requesting a ballot uh, under this paragraph shall return with the voted ballot a copy of the request bearing an original signature of the elector as provided in 6.874, doesn't signify anything about a date and then except as otherwise authorized, the elector shall transmit a copy. Now that relates solely to electronic, but when I go to 6.87 sub four, that has to do with military electors. So I'm not sure that this entire, entirely complies, but again, uh, it talks about a signature, but it doesn't talk about a date. Um, so unless somebody can show me a statute specific to just regular absentees that <clears throat> is different than those other statutes that I found that only reference a signature, my opinion would be that the signature is sufficient and the lack of a date um, is, is, is insufficient. It, it wouldn't cause, it wouldn't, my recommendation would you be to count the ballot as a result. Do we have any other comments before the board? The board gets to make the decision. The right? board gets to make the decision, yeah, whether you should include the that envelope. Except that envelope with the analysis as presented by the senior. Do you do you have anything else to add? No, no. we just preserve for the record. Okay. I guess if this were at my pool, I would have set it aside and made a call. Okay. And probably if, if I had heard anything from you, I would have rejected it because I didn't have the data. And nothing was on here that you said it was okay. So that's just my opinion. I'm of the opinion that it's different. I'm it came before correct. the date of the election. And that's where I am too. I'm, I clearly see the date here on March 25th. And it wouldn't be date stamped, then right. I think I would have a right. issue and okay. issue with it. But. Right. So I vote to count it. Okay. I would not I vote to count it. it. Okay. It's already counted, but yeah. I would deny the objection. So it's voted two to one to deny the objection? Yes. <clears throat> Is it two to one or did, did you all end did, up concurring? What did you, what, okay. I voted to deny. I did two. You voted to accept the objection or deny? That's up to you. That's in the board. You get to decide. With the timestamp on it, I guess I'm okay. I said if that had not been on there, I, I probably would not okay. have accepted it. So, so then it's three to zero. Okay. Yeah, they, they deny the objection and accept the envelope. All right. 
You already counted the list? We, we counted the list. Okay. Why don't we count these in stacks of 25 then? There's two. Wait, do we want to put that one aside though? Put the one, all of them that were done. So there'll be 10 that were set aside. I mean, we'll count them, but they're, we won't get them all intermingled. Thank you. Twenty-five. These okay. are the extras. Okay. Right. Two stacks of twenty-five. Oh, then there's 10. <laughs> All right, that's 10. So that's 142. So we have 142 here, which is what was counted. We do have two rejected. So actually, at least would be on here that they returned and they were rejected. So we're going to change this. So there's two applications that we did have ballots for, but they were rejected at the polls. Okay. So they were for Marge Bilkey. Bilkey. This one. So just change it, reject. rejected at the polls. Okay. M A R G E B O E. B O E H L K E. H L K E. B O E L K E. Yes. Oh, there's an H in there or not? B O E H L K E. Got it. Eyes are going crossy here. All right, and this one was rejected due to no signature and date. That one, yeah. That one. Is that our signature yeah. voter? Yeah. Voter signature and date. Voter signature. Well, together, that whole line was right. quite uncompleted. Madam Clark, yes. did you read into the record who the witness was? Um, I don't know. It looks like her signature there. Is that, that is my point. Yeah. But it it's not like her she... address. But it's not their address. But that's not her address. Right. So it I might understand. not be. Oh, yeah. I mean, looks like there's a J there. I, I don't know. I can't. I, I wouldn't be able to say that that name is Mark. Yeah. But that's the different address. <clears throat> if I could request that it just be read yes. to the record, please. Yeah. Well, I don't, I what, don't do you know, know what, what name it is. is. I, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what name it is. It looks but we like can. a something J Bell to me. Mark, maybe. Uh, or Mary. Mary. I mean, who knows what it is? Something I small. I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't read the um, signature, but it is an address. The witness address is different than the voter address. Uh, do you want that read in? The yes, record, maybe? Okay. So the um, voter address is 1113 Carmen Avenue. 
and the witness address is 1606 South 20th Street, Bolton Sheboygan. She might need a name though. Who was asking Jeff. the question? Jeff? Oh, I'm sorry. Primary. Primary. That's the okay. primary. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, they're in red writing. Just wearing a it says flag. return to be rejected, <laughs> called voter to notify, couldn't come in, certi uh, certificate insufficient. So they couldn't correct, correct it. Yeah. So we did get a hold of the voter, but they Under could not the come in. Come in it says something. Certificate insufficient. Oh, yeah. couldn't come in. That's Cheryl's initials. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And then the second one was Taylor, Tammy. Last name Taylor. Oh, Tammy is the first name? Tammy Taylor. Tammy S. Taylor? Yes. Yeah, so rejected. she voted, but it was rejected at the polls. There was a witness signature, but no address. We tried to contact them twice. Their mailbox was full. Mm -hmm can't leave message. Cheryl, I can read it. Can't That's leave great. message. <laughs> Return to be rejected, insufficient. And then the initials and date of our office. It looks like a last name, Taylor. Uh, so, Richard or something. Yeah, I, again, yeah. That looks like a something H. Taylor as the witness, but it's a signature though. Well, okay, we're asking a lot here, but is there a Richard Taylor and the polls in the name next to her name for the husband? They're rejected. They're rejected. Right. It, it, requires, it, doesn't it requires an address. Yeah. No, there's no other. There's a. Yeah, there's another Taylor, but it's a completely it's different a, address. It's a woman. Well, so everybody's talking, so we won't be able to hear it. So go ahead and just say what you just said. Okay, um, I was questioning whether there was a Taylor available in the polling records that's probably her husband, and that's possibly why there's no address and, underneath. And it. the answer was? No. no. Okay. So this needs to be changed to 140. That were returned. No, you can no. wait. No, so, I we so we actually have 144 envelopes that got returned. Okay, to us. So okay. the other way around. Yes. Other way. Thank other you. way around. Yes. Thank you. So we did have yes. 144 come. We counted 142 of them. So, right? Do we all agree? Correct. Yes. Okay. Can I ask? The question? Yes, you may. On res in response to this top one. Yes. Are you able to read the name of the witness? We said it was a. I. I can't read the first name, but it looks like H. Taylor as the middle initial and last name. We would like to request that that ballot be admitted because the clerk's office filled in the same addresses for other voters who are lacking the address but did not do so on this one, and we request equitable treatment. I do you have a which response name before, name before, before I which name is the on? this one that we're ballots were rejected by administrative action of the clerk before the election. The dead ballots, they weren't counted, they're not part of this recount. They were rejected. Right. We're not litigating the validity of ballots today that were rejected by the official, the clerk, on election or before the election closed. These ballots are of no consequence in this recount whatsoever. Just because there's two ballots inside those envelopes and everybody wants to get to them, you're out of time and you're out of sequence. And there's no there's no process available today that allows you to look in those envelopes because you rejected them on election day. If they were legitimate ballots and the board of canvassers felt like they were counted, I would definitely think they could be counted. However, we make every effort. We have to contact the voter on those other ballots. We need to contact the voter to get that information from them. We just don't fill in the the address without getting a hold of somebody first. And so that is our directive and that's what we do. 
So we will look up names in phone books and we will look up people any way, which way we can to make sure that we can fill in the information that is missing. And this one, we could not get a hold of somebody to verify who their witness was and what their address was. And so for the, just, just so that we have it for the record, yes. uh, what you're saying is that there's not different treatment for this Correct. ballot, that each person was attempted to be contacted and you only added the information upon receiving information from the voter yes. uh, with, with the proper information. And in this case, you did not receive that information, is that yes. correct? And I think it, you also did at the uh, Board of Canvassers meeting on Friday, make the determination regarding the rejected ballots as yes. well, is that correct? Yes. So. Um, so I, so I think that the, my, my opinion, my legal opinion is that while there is a process, uh, for do, for, um, counting those ballots, the board of canvassers has made that decision last Friday, not to count these ballots. So my opinion is they should not be opened and they should not be counted. <clears throat> is that in the minutes of the board of canvassers? From last Friday, it should, it should be yeah. that these were rejected because yes. I don't remember seeing them. I was out at a certain point, so I may just have missed it. But I don't remember being able to look at the back of the ballots that weren't opened. Well, and I, I can't speak to how the, the Board of Canvassers dealt with it, but I do recall that you made a determination about rejected ballots in Ward 20. Okay, yeah. so I missed it. Okay. So, so those will set back in that envelope. Okay. Right. So now we have 142. Let's put these together because we don't have to count them again. We have the names written down. Yeah. So. All right. Now I'm going to get the ballot bag. Thank you. All right. Yes. This chain of custody would reflect the insertion of that extra ballot yes. into the bag. Yes. Is that the same? So the number? seal number, uh, Cheryl, I'll wait till Cheryl's ready. My own sequence. Go ahead. Yep. Nope. Okay. It's okay. Okay. I'm going to put this one that we took off of that one in this bag. Yep. That sounds good. Thank you. Okay. So this is the certificate for the ballot container on election night. It was marked with 1146738. However, after the board of canvassers met, the seal was broken to insert the ballot tallied from the board of canvassers. And the seal was replaced with 11445716. Did you get that, Cheryl? Yep. Sorry. Um, say it again, Meredith, please. One one four five seven one six. So that is the seal. Is the ballot segregated from the rest of the ballots, or is it just? Yeah. I believe we put a sticky okay. note on it. Oh, okay. Segregate that yeah. ballot. All right. So then I'm going to break the seal. Yes. If the ballot is segregated, how do does the city preserve the secrecy of the vote if it's not separately identical with a voter? We don't know who so it is still. We still don't know whose ballot it is. You're welcome. So this was the seal when we broke it. That was the original one that was put in the bag after we broke the seal. And then 
understand that. It's the new film. And is there a timestamp on there? Just for we don't have timestamps. No. For either. Yep. Okay. Sure. Oh yeah. Thank you. Okay. That's the new seal. One, okay. That was the new seal. One more, one more four, and then six, seven, three, eight. And the old one, one, four, six, seven, three, eight, and the, the no, seal should... number says one, one, four, five, seven, five, one. No, this this one goes with this. Sorry, they marked that one. This one goes with this. Oh, this it's one not that was the that was on election date. They must have oh. written down the wrong. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to see the ballots segregated. Yeah. Well, when we count them, so we're just going to okay. count right now. So we're going to count to make sure that they match, and then we will. Yes, do twenty fives because fifty seems to be a lot. And look for the. We should still yes. Yeah. So if you can put them upside down or right side, whatever the word number you're looking for, twenty. Twenty. Yes. And then stacks of twenty five, please. Mm -hmm.
Thank you. You you on Bennett? Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Uh, well, I was waiting for you. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right. So we're gonna count stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21. Thank you. Did you add the 21? Yeah, 547. Plus, did you add these 22? Yeah, that's in there. And then you have to add the, and then the two that we had from, that we got out of the 19 bag, we're adding now to the 20. And it's 549. So that's the total that we have. The total on the tape says 548, but that's because that one ballot at the Board of Canvassers did not go in the machine. So it's 548 plus the one that we counted, which is 549. Can we keep those two separate for the time being? And which two? The, the two? the two 20s that were in the 19 bag that you just had in your hand? I don't know if I, did I put them underneath? Yeah. Did I put okay. them underneath? Okay, and then there's the one, the question, that's yep. the one. Yep. Okay. Just, so one regular and one absentee. So there's a lot of paperwork on this thing. <laughs> All right, just keep these three. So now let's separate, um, separate the ballots. Absentees from the regular. Okay. Thank you. 
SBD ones. SBDs are, are um, absentees. Okay. Do have one ballot that's not initialed at all. It's not folded. It would tell me it was in person. But I don't know what the state statute, so we'd have to call the WEC on that one. Well, I would say that uh, let let people make objections first before. Okay. That's how we're. So, so for the for the record, for the record, we have a ballot that's not initialed. And it's it's legally filled out correctly. Uh, 
did not did, even did look, not look at, at that side? No. Okay. We're making the determination by separating them right now, whether they're absentee or whether they're... Are we counting the absentee ballots first, or this, this yes. must have been a walk-in in person at the poll because it's not full and... That, I mean, that would you know. that's what it would tell me is it was at the poll, but I mean, that's... So are, do the... Do the, do the we have not done... We have not counted yet. We may so. count those first and then see if there's an issue with... Put them in stacks of 25. Okay. Make sure. So you want to count out the switch? Oh, you put those aside. Oh, yeah, this is one, two, three. So, well, this one's this one wasn't this. These two are yeah. That's the count. Settings aside. All right, these two. So according to this, yeah, we have yes. We have two. Okay, hold on. Just one second. We have 145. It doesn't even. 169. Yeah, so we need to recount. Anyway, we need to recount anyway. These are absentees. So could I have some stats here? Okay, hold on a second. These are these people signed in the wrong these poll workers. There's okay. So we have several ballots that appear to be signed by poll workers that signed in the wrong spot. So we need to go through and if it doesn't say MC or MD, those okay. are all it should say. Okay, for absentees. Except, except if it was SVD. SVD. Yes, SVD. SVDs. And then they should have um, these two filled out. Correct. And not that one. All right. It should have it if it's in. All right, so 25s again, please. Look at the initials. Five. No, 
off the stack, so that should be funny. <laughs> Can we can we not talk right now, sorry. please? I'm sorry. I just need. I'm, a, I'm terribly sorry. That's okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. So this is twenty-five. Okay, so we have one twenty-five, eleven, one thirty-six, two here. We have three remade ballots, which were which we'll go over, but those were they were remade at the polls, which were absentee ballots. So that's one forty one, and then this one, right? They're under the absentee, but that's not Where does my that initials. One, Meredith, bring that, one, bring that back a minute. It was. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They initialed in the wrong spot. No, but here. I don't know why they did that, but these are all the same. Versa. Yeah. They were initialing in the wrong spot. All right. Let's just count one more time. Just to make sure. So this is 25, 25. Well, no, I Come, would just. Each of them? Yes. Each stack I'd again? I have a different stack. Okay. I'll slot with you. We have 141. So how many are here? And, and just there are three. So three there. These are three that go with the this. Let me just make sure that there are. That's where we're off. I thought we won 142. And that's this is okay. This is my understanding of what happened, and I don't know. Can I say my understanding, or should we? I don't. Well, we, we should probably make a record of what's what's happening. Okay, so we have 141 ballots that we can determine. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's 136 here that have the proper initials. This is 136. Uh, so, and just yes. for the record, yes, 136 going. absentee yes. or 136? Uh, 136 absentee. absentees. Well, there's so many piles right now. Yeah. So there's 136 absentees that we can determine our absentees. We have one absentee that was marked from the Board of Canvases. That makes 137. We have another absentee ballot that was put in 19s that came back to 20 that was asked to be set aside. So that's 138. We have three that are, we have three over here that are marked that were remade at the polls. That makes 141. We have another ballot here that has no initials on it. It's well, not folded. This, 
Can I? Yeah, sure. Let me. Sure. That, okay, thank you. <laughs> Before I lose my track, this one's not folded. When I go to look into the remade absentee ballots, there are four in here. Four spoiled ballots. Yeah. Four remade. So they're not they're not called spoiled. But yeah, they're called remade absent um, absentees. I had three where the documentation tells me they're remade. I have one where there's not documentation on it. Four in here. That would make 142, which is what we have documented on our absentee log, our inspector statement, and our poll book. We also have a stack of, I don't want to get any of this messed up. So those are 136. This is, thank you. These, okay. We have a stack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine ballots that are initialed in the wrong spot. They are not folded ballots, which would tell me that they're not absentees. They have initials very similar to election inspectors. And I can put them out on the table. These are the ones that are signed in the right spot. But these were signed as an absentee and an as, an, as an SVD. So they were signed in the wrong spots at the poll book table. So I can put them out if anybody wants to look at, start with these. Can I start yeah, with these? Yeah, let's do one, one issue at a time okay. and let people just let people yes. each And they're all decide. SVDs? Special these, these are these are not SVDs. These are not absentees. This, these are not folded. In my opinion, these are not folded ballots. They marked a poll worker marked the ballot in the S, in the absentee ballot issued by, and in the SVD, another poll worker marked in the SVD spot. Which they should do. The absentee ballot issued by should only be an MD or an MC, a clerk or a deputy clerk. These are not. These look like a DPL or something like that. So, and does DPL match the initials of uh, other what? ballots that were yes. voted mm -hmm. in person at the polls on election day? Including these nine ballots, are does the count match? This equals 142 if we if it's determined that this one that does not have initials was just. Not and we can when we make, when we bring out the remade ballots we can determine we can determine that intent at that time at that time. Okay. But this equals 142. So these would be in excess of the 142 that was. Yes. And remember the count of this 579 or whatever mm -hmm. matched. So. So. Well, so the count did. Match. We, the total number of ballots total matched number of ballots. what we, was we on the table. That's what I was. Yes. Yeah, so we started out with just the absentees. We don't know. We count, yes, we counted them all. We matched mm -hmm. them. 579. Mm -hmm. total the total count of all total of them count. is 579. Right. Mm -hmm. 549. 549. 549. 549. Sorry. Let me correct. 549. 549. That all matched. Thank that you. all matched. Okay. So I guess well, let's. So just for have, clarification. Yes. These were just signed or marked human error. Okay, which were then put into the absentee. Is they that were, correct? They were put with all the ballots. They were put with right. all we the ballots. We are just separating them because we need to count the absentees and we need to match the absentees. But these aren't absentees. The, no. as they are signed as absentees. Right. That's what you're trying to determine. We're trying to determine. Because they're not folded. They are not folded. And we can clearly see that. But you do have 142 that are fold. Determining on t intent of these. I am not going to. I don't think that one's folded. So 138 folded plus those four. Would that be accurate, Madam Clerk? Yes. Thank you. 
What's 136 for? 136, but no, this one was that special ballot. This one was the Ward 20 that was in the Ward 19. So we, there's just separate piles. So how did you determine that we needed to look at these? You because they were absentee? No, no. well, they, they signed in the absentee. Uh -huh. This is our, our deputy clerk. Yeah. Only the deputy clerk and the clerk can sign in that spot. So this is her initials. Can we find one with my initials? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She did a lot of initialing. She did a lot of initialing. <laughs> a lot of initialing. <laughs> we have a stamp in the lock and makes it easy. Yeah, we keep running out of ink. So we, uh, we just do it. Let's see how the MD are going to do this. Write your initials down, Mira. <laughs> Yeah. I can write my initials on that. I was gonna say I can just that's my initials. That's fine. If you're good with that, those are my initials. And these are the deputy oh, clerk. That's okay. Just it's put them all. It's fine. That's she fine. Made it down that whole board. Yeah, she probably did those boards when we sent them out. Yeah. So I guess first we'll do if there's any objections to these ballots. And the question really is not so much whether there's an objection okay. yet at this point okay. to the ballots, but whether okay. there's an objection to the determinate that the board of canvassers determining that they are not absentee ballots but that they are um ballots that were voted at the polls okay. uh, for the purpose right. of the number and then right. i think as long as there's no objection to that then we'll have to deal with okay. uh, whether they should be counted or not okay. just for the record this wasn't noticed before today that? We never looked at the ballots until. Them. Well, yes, and yeah. right, the poll workers I'm did not, not note it. Note it. Yeah, I'm not judging. Yes. No, no, no. I know. No, no, no. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And for the record, there are, you know, there are two uh, and sets of initials on there. They're just Correct. in the wrong place. Correct. And I would note that the statute does say, does simply say that um, the the voter uh, is, let me find it here, I had it up. This is what it would look like. If an elector receives a ballot which is not initialed by two inspectors or is defective in any other way, the elector shall return it to, to the inspectors. If the statute does not specifically note about the wrong place. So um, the elector, him or herself, um, whether or not they know that they did actually receive a ballot with two signatures on them. Right. Okay. So, is there any objection, first of all, to uh, determining that these nine, is that the number? Nine. Nine ballots uh, are ballots that were cast on, at the polls on election day and are not to be counted in the count for absentee ballots? I agree with your statement. You agree with the statement? No, no. So then, uh, as long as the Board of Canvassers is in agreement with that, um, and, it's, and it looks like for the record all three are shaking their head yes, okay, um, then the, the next question becomes whether there's an objection to counting those ballots uh, once, once we get around to um, counting the votes on the ballots. Is there an objection to that? No objection. Without objection. No. Right. So I, then I would go ahead and put those right in your stacks with the other uh, votes from the day of. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's the first thing. Second thing is that we have three ballots for the record that have for official use only documented on them. 
which means that it looks like they checked that a ballot was damaged. So we would check the remade ballot envelope, which is pink. And here we find four. And this looks like it's damaged because yep, it's white. But we, we have four and three. And we have one ballot over here that does not have any documentation on it. As can I ask what tape means? Somebody tapes. Oh. I can't. Like, I don't know if you can see that, yeah. but they um, remade it because. Oh, this yeah, the inspectors. But they, I believe, well, that's, that's 19. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's not <Yeah>. help. <laughs> I have a oh, 289 right. absentee ballot rip mute made. Could we line them up with, because yep. the number should yep. be on the bottom. 289. This is 393. 404. 404. And this one doesn't and have any. Have so I have a 289, a 404, 393. And that's what I have. So do we make our determination first or do we ask? I think what you can do is ask for objection. I think just to divide it up for simplicity, let's talk about just the three where the numbers match up. Are there any objections to uh, counting the remade ballots, uh, the three remade ballots uh, that have voter numbers uh, identified with them. No objection. No objection. Right. So, you, so those can be uh, whatever you need to do with them, but we can. Do we also need to look at both of them and determine that the poll workers on the night of to match them up for their intent or not at this time? Do we not do that? Do we? I, what is in your. Uh, what is in your manual part as far as doing that? That's because part I of think, the recount. So we would have to probably either call the recount because we don't match them up unless there's a recount, and this is our first. This is the recount. Re so then, yes. I, then I would suggest that you match match them up. So there's not an objection to them, but let's let's make sure that they match up. Okay. Not for purposes of counting right now, just no, to but just to understand that they that voted. Matters. So you have. Well, well, yeah, we'd only need to do this. So this one yeah. matches the intent. Can you guys see? I'm sorry. That's the board you should be seeing as well. This one matches with this one. Yes. 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 Did you? You guys didn't get a chance to see then? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 So then what I would do is so whatever is these, part of your process. Okay. You have to put so those are you, them. so no objections to me putting these three in with the absentee ballots and putting these back in the envelope? No objection. Okay. Well, they can go in. So that will take you to. 139 so they're three. Well, they are they are they're, they're, marked. they're marked as being remade so you would be able oh, to right. again match them up if there was another so then those go in there so now we have one well, let's let's hope it matters. you've got that one ballot and then you have some other ones that you have to determine there meredith no okay so the, the last one. this is the last one. So then the question becomes, um, it, it, what you're saying is that it appears, based on your expertise, that this is a remade ballot, but that the uh, poll workers did not properly initial the ballot. Is that correct? Okay. Yes. Okay. So I guess I think what we should first ask is, is there an objection uh, from either candidate or their representatives uh, to. Um, yeah. Thank you, Marge. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't see it. Yeah. Is, is, is there any objection uh, to 
think the first step we have to make is to determine that we should count it, um, notwithstanding our check to make sure that the intent was followed. Is there any objection to counting it, notwithstanding that? Well, I don't have an objection to counting, but if there's a discrepancy, right. then it could be that this is not the right. That is correct. So, so that, that's be. what I'm trying to get at, yeah. Let's just see if we have a problem or not. Well, <laughs> before then, I want to state an sure. objection. Okay. Um, the other three were properly remade. It appears that the election workers there that day knew what to do, and they did it. Um, whereas the fourth one didn't happen. So that's why I'm objecting. Okay, so and, and that's why I wanted to do it in that order because I think before we determine whether with I think you as a board of canvassers should decide whether it's proper to take it to the next step, which is to compare intent, or should you just toss the ballot now without determining intent because the ballot is improper. Um, the only statute that I found on point again really is it's the same statute that I cited, which puts the onus on a voter um, who appears at the polls to return an improperly made ballot. This is this was done actually by poll workers for an absentee ballot. Uh, and so I think what you have to determine is, is the, you have to weigh the consequences of um, the possibility of uh, defranchising one voter by the mistake, uh, by a mistake that is not their own mistake, but is a mistake of a poll worker, uh, with the possibility of including an additional ballot that is an improper ballot in some way. Um, oh, noting. Okay, hold on a second. There, there one, is. There's one, two, three. So there is, eight, there is documentation. Ballot but not the same documentation and not proper documentation on the ballot, but there is notation in the inspector statement that one was torn and remade. Not the same documentation because it happened by Jim Victor, I'm sorry, I shouldn't, a poll, different poll worker Hi. than a different, than the other one. So that is another, for the record, yeah. it is on the inspector statement that there should be four. So Madam Clark, that's yes. in the 104 from the chief or the inspector. Yes, EL 104. So three of them were marked with the voter number of the poll book. And they were in the afternoon. And then there was one, there was one in the morning. morning. At 10 in the morning. At what time? 10, 10, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the morning that says they remade a tour ballot. So does that change your objection? Yes. Okay, so you are no longer objecting to at least moving to the next step, which is comparing the intent yes. on the ballots. Okay, no, so good right. to go. <laughs> I appreciate that. No objection. No objection. Okay. Right. Okay. So now we should compare intent. We consider. Hold on a minute. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That's right. Okay. Can we take a break? Yeah. The board, and for the record, you ten minute break. Okay. Okay. For the record, for the record, you are counting that ballot. I'm sorry, thank you. We, talk, we are. Is this one forty then? This it was one thirty nine. That's one forty. We have two ballots that are still here, but there's no, uh, there's no. I don't want to use the word objection, but this one was the one that was board a board of canvassers, and this was the one that was in ward nineteen. So one forty here. 41, 42. So that one was counted and it's in there has been counted. Just, yeah, we have 140 here and then this makes 141 and this makes 142. And then this is a walk And then this was, this was the, that was in 19s. So you oh. wanted to keep those aside. Oh, yeah, yeah. These were in ballot bag 19. Mm -hmm. But this has already been in here. Yes, because yes. that's here. Yes. So that would, this would make but this 142. Is, yeah. And then this, this list reflects that ballot was accepted as a yes. Form. Well, we don't know whose it is. So, yes, right. it, they had a. But the yes. envelopes match. With the the envelopes paper. match, yes. That envelope is in there somewhere. Yes. We are going to take a 10 minute break till 2.54, please.
I think we could stipulate to move those two into the proper stack. Is that okay for you now? Okay, yeah, awesome. Thank you. Can I, that would help. Yes. <laughs> we, we need to. We need to like write that through. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So yeah. both part both parties are stipulating that the the two uh, ballots that had been in 19 can be moved to the 20 and be counted as part of Ward 20. Is that correct? Yes. yes. That's correct. That's All right. Then we can continue. Bring that one too. This is the board. Yeah, it is. I don't know. Board of Kansas. This is mine. It's falling apart. Not yet. Not yet. We don't know where they are. Well, the good news is you're not doing 300,000 in there right now. Right? Yeah, it would take a while. Yeah. Is this okay on the mosquitoes? Are you staying here for a moment? Yeah, it should be one more. And if you stay in here, three. three yes, three, I'm staying. Right? Yes. So okay. that's a training tool as well. Mm -hmm. How to. That, okay. that mystery ballot is still going to remain marked with a pink thing yeah. for the time being, right? Okay. Okay. We got our eyes on you, Mary. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so did the cameras. Because <laughs> this is on, and we remade the ballots too. They okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a training thing. <laughs> you guys go to the inspectors on Washington Day? Um, no. We moved. What? Uh, we moved people around a little bit because we increased our number of polling locations when we redistricted. So we have 10 instead of 8. So it's a little bit of a shift there for us, but I think it was a good shift. Yeah, it's always good to have more end, options. Three wards, I was down to seven people. Ooh, was that the is. Teams that yeah. Together for a while, so people are accustomed yeah. to getting their steps and jumping from table to table. The table. That's amazing. Yep. I was getting a little balance all over the place. Hmm? I never know if I'm supposed to say anything to that. I don't know if we want to open up a window, but I don't know if I'm not open. I know. That's the one thing that is just. Can I throw I a chair through the window? Can you what? Throw a chair through the window? Yeah, no. We always thought about that too, you know. Because the old, to get the old out. city hall, you can well, the window, did you hear the window yeah. crackling before when that big It was window? really nice yeah. that, that is the one thing that I missed about it. Yeah. Just that fresh air too, when you're yes. working, oh, it's yeah. just really nice to have a little bit of a breeze. But can't complain. For all your sites with air conditioning for August? No. It would be interesting. Yeah. There's all kinds of just the one, just the one now. Well, no. We had one before, oh. too. There's two. They can open doors and things. Yeah, there's ceiling fans and so many. Yeah, half days will be nice if we can do it again. Just don't like elections in August. <laughs> <laughs> that's into my summer. Summer, summer is so short in Wisconsin. But it can be a little cold in the winter ones too. We always have to tell them. Oh, to right, but I like to like we are. my days in, in August is what I'm saying. And it's less days to enjoy because then I have That to. is true. <laughs> so now we're <laughs> dividing. Well, but then you've got the two weeks prior to the election day for right. early voting. Right. You guys do that only in City Hall? Or? No, no, it's okay. all good. It's all good. No, no, no.
Is what is that's um, old inspector statement. Those are the rejected absentees. Oh, those should stay there for now. I was just going to tidy up a little bit. Of, uh, now the poll book you don't need anymore, right? I can put the poll book over there. Or should I? I better wait. Can I not ask that? No, <laughs> 24 Peter. hours. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you were the update. Okay, got it, got it. Yes. Got it. I'm the Peter. Peter, yeah. Peter was. I mean, I could put the poll book over there. Should I tell people that? So, based on your experience, would you come back? Of course. <laughs> yes, I would. Uh, I'm just going to give you some more room. I know. I'm eating a lot of candy today, guys, and it's not, <laughs> not going to get any better this week. <laughs> no, it's Easter. But those Easter. are holiday bells, aren't they? But yeah, those are from these Christmas. These are from Christmas. <laughs> So I can go. I can. I still okay, have Valentine's Day in between. <laughs> Anybody have Valentine's candy? Right. Purge. So if it's Christmas and you get an Easter one, too bad. My grandma used to have a dinner party once a year, and then everybody got the whatever. You just get whatever, whatever she comes had. out of the stack. That's the way it is. You can take napkins. Okay. Like holiday napkins. That's fine. Oh, they're all mixed together. Yeah. So if it's Thanksgiving and you happen to get Easter, that's just how it is. Fun. You should just do like a um, holiday party, and then you could just, you know, everybody could bring get a napkin first, and then they could bring a yeah. dish to like celebrate that. We could even match the napkin. Right, right. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. You should do that here. Oh, we had a spam carving contest. I know that. I wouldn't do that for two. You had to carve, yeah. carve what it's something. Oh, that was carve. Yes. Really? Yeah. And you had to like my my late husband and I won. What'd you carve? We had little people that we made up that were oh, spam yeah. people. I thought it was going to be like recipes. <laughs> <laughs> we had little hula skirts on them. Oh my! Oh my gosh. gosh! It was hysterical. Yes. Just, how did you make a hula skirt? Huh? Did you eat them? You made them out of spam? Sure. I like spam. So do I. Especially when you Very open the can and you tip it over and it goes. <laughs> it's the best part. I've heard that many times. Too. That's the best part. <laughs> well, do you get the bacon spam? Oh, make a BLT. Oh, is that right? Bacon oh. spam. Have you ever been oh, to the spam museum? museum? <laughs> the spam museum. <laughs> the spam museum. Come on. Museum awesome. It's awesome. So we had an exchange student from Korea, and in Korea they love spam. Damn. And so she was really excited. <laughs> we go that way whenever I go and visit my family. Well, I said I have to go there and order online when I want the teriyaki spam. Yep, yeah. How many flavors do they have? Oh, they got all kinds. Yeah. Uh, she came I've never through. eaten spam. She came through. No, it wasn't, it wasn't that kind of an exchange. She was at a private school and they had that special view. She lived with us for a year, but I don't she had been at the school for a year. Get black pepper spam. I sell that in Europe. So how many varieties are there? Lots. Yeah. lots. There's probably lots. 10 or 12. Cool. I can't, I can't say anything recess. bad about spam. Find out more than one. Yeah. 44. We have one right here. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> rehearsed. I just wrote rehearsed instead of rehearsed. <laughs> What's the next thing? Not yet. I think we'll be on time. Who's time? I'm a. All right, two fifty four. We're gonna have not an ATU with Michael. Just want to make note that in the inspector statement, it does indicate that the first nine ballots were initialed in the wrong spot. So. They did catch it and they did document it. So it was a good call to put those in here. Are we reconvening? We are re oh, I said that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, I, I know. thinking about a fish fry right, right now. I see the entire inspector statement. Where it says that? Well, just. All right. 
So we're going to just kind of. Okay. I'm, I'm on now. There's a remake. Do we have those four pieces of paper to say where oh, yes. each one goes? Now we're going to store it somewhere here. Can you put it somewhere? Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna just, that's, never mind. We're going to start to that. sort the ballots by <clears throat> candidates. All right. Ready? <clears throat> Joseph. Andre. Joseph, Joseph, Andre, 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 Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, 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 Joseph. Joseph, 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 Andre, 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 Joseph. Yes, which one? I'm sorry, I don't spell stuff. Yep. Joseph. Yes, you. you're welcome. Joseph. Joseph, if you guys object, what I'm saying. Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I'm okay, okay good. I'm Joseph, each one. Andre, 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 Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph. Andre, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. Andre, Joseph, no vote, no vote, Joseph, 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 Andre, 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 Andre. Joseph, Joseph, no vote. Joseph, Joseph, Andre, 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 Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Andre. Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, 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 Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Andre, Andre. Joseph, 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 Andre, Andre, Joseph, Joseph, no vote, Joseph. Joseph, Joseph, 
Andre. Andre. Joseph. 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 Andre. <clears throat> Joseph. 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 Andre. Andre. Joseph. 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 Andre. Joseph. Andre. Joseph. Joseph. Andre. Joseph. Joseph. Andre. Joseph. Joseph. Taking a gun. Joseph. Joseph. These are spare. Yeah. Andre. Andre. Joseph. 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 Andre. 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 Joseph. Joseph. Andre. Andre. Joseph. Andre. Andre. Joseph. Andre. 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 Joseph. 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 Andre. Joseph. Andre. Joseph. Joseph. Andre. 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 Joseph. Joseph. Andre. 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 Joseph. Andre. Andre. Joseph. 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 Andre. Joseph. Joseph. Andre. Joseph. Andre. 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 Joseph. Joseph. Andre. Joseph. Andre. Andre. Joseph. Joseph. Andre. Joseph. 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 Andre. Joseph. 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 Andre. Joseph. Andre. Joseph. Andre. Andre. Joseph. Andre. 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 Joseph. 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 Andre. 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 Joseph. Andre. 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 Joseph. Andre. Andre. Joseph. Andre. 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 Joseph. Andre. No vote. Andre. 
Rosa. I would say Andre. Andre. There, just for the record, there's a ballot. Do you want to set that aside? That is a darker bubble for Andre and a slight mark for Joseph. Andre, 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 Joseph, Joseph, Andre, 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 Joseph, Joseph, Andre, 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 Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Andre, 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 Joseph, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Andre, No bolt. Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, 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 Andre, Joseph, Joseph, no vote, Joseph, Andre, 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 Joseph, 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 Andre, Joseph, 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 Andre, Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, 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 Andre, Joseph, 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 Andre, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Andre, 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 Joseph, 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 Andre, Joseph, 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 Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, 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 Joseph, 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 Andre, 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 Joseph, 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 Andre, Joseph, 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 Andre, 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 Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Andre, 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 
laundry, laundry, laundry. Joseph, Joseph, laundry, laundry, laundry. Joseph, laundry, 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 laundry. Andre. That's okay. Andre. Andre. Andre, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, 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 Andre, Andre, Andre. No boat. Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, 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 Andre, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph. Joseph, Andre, 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 no votes. Andre, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, 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 Joseph. Andre, 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 Joseph, Andre, 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 Joseph, no boat, Joseph, 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 Andre, Joseph. Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, 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 Joseph. Andre, 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 Joseph, 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 No vote. Andre, 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 Joseph. Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, Joseph, Andre, Andre, Joseph, Andre, Joseph. Joseph, Joseph, Andre, Joseph, 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 Andre, Joseph, 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 Andre, 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 Andre. 
All right, separate it. So, Marissa, I'm going to give you Andre's. Okay, you can divide them in stacks of 25. Okay. If you need to go on the other side of the table, as you, I don't know how it's easiest for you. And then. Yeah, I would I would suggest that we deal with that one now so that you can put it in a stack. So do we ask for objections, Chuck? I don't remember. Well, I think you probably in, in this case you have to make a determination of the intent. So I would suggest that the board of canvassers on the ballot determine an intent and then determine if there is an objection from uh, either side, and then if there is. Okay. You ready? Yes. All right. So here's the ballot in question. My vote is that it clearly looks like an Andre vote. I agree. Three to zero. We think it's an Andre vote. All right. So then, then we determine if there's an objection to that. I'd like to object. And the reason I'm objecting is because when you look at the circles for all of the other candidates, None of them have any mark in the in the non-voted for candidate circle, but I would think this is an overvote because there's a mark in both of the circles. One one is obviously more prominent than the other, but none of the other circles have marks other than the intended candidate. So it looks to me like an overvote. I object to accepting this ballot. Response from uh, Mr. Walton side. Uh, it's obviously a vote for Mr. Walton. Um, the machine didn't even consider it an overvote. It would have kicked it out if it had um, come through that way. And so the dark, prominent area is for Mr. Walton, and it should be identified as. Yeah. Can I just take a quick one? Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. I'm going to so, add to that, but consistently oh, marked, extreme, I'm, not, I'm not touching it, extremely dark and, and to the side and every other category that he voted for. So it's that vote for Andre is very consistent with the rest of the room. But that mark is also to the side. There's the same gap on the uh, left, the right side of the, of the oval as the other votes. It doesn't look like that to me. The mark is in the right side. Okay. The machine's to yeah. that's, that that's my objection. Yeah. So okay. what, what, I would, what I would say is I'm not going to make an opinion on how you should vote. But what I would say is that in in determining whether you're going to change your vote based on the objection, a couple of principles that you have to consider is, is, is the intent of the voter clear? And are any of the marks spurious, meaning that they're likely to have not been put with any kind of intent? Those are the things that I think you should consider in deciding whether you're going to change uh, the determination based on the objection. So now we're deciding if we're changing our mind after hearing both sides. Right. I am not changing my I'm mind. I'm not changing my mind. I'm not either. So it's, for the record, it seems like we have a three to zero vote to count that ballot as a, a vote for uh, Andre Walton. Yes. So can we go on mine? Do you want to put a sticky on that one? I can. And then we do have to put this one in there as well. We didn't sort this one. This was from the Board of Canvassers, but this is the vote for Andre as well. Is it appropriate at this point to make an objection to this ballot? Uh, we have a, an issue with the chain of custody of the ballot. It's understanding that on election night, the ballots from the machine were sealed in the bag with tags. But this particular was uh, ballot was in a manila folder from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and it was pulled out Friday. There was no chain of custody for four days. So we have no idea if that's the, the original ballot or not. Nobody does because it was outside of the chain of custody. If it was an important ballot, it should have been locked in with the rest of them, but it wasn't, so there's no chain of custody. So we don't know if that is the exact ballot or a different ballot. So we would, we would recommend that that we would insist that that not be counted. So, so it's, is that your an objection then? Yes, the chain of custody issue. And how would the other side respond to that? Well, it's clearly a vote for Mr. Walton. As you can see, 
it appears that there was an overvote in a different race. And I think that's what got things kind of unusual here. But obviously with respect to our race, it's a vote for Mr. Walton and there's no way around that. With respect to custody issues, it's always been in the custody of the clerk's office uh, throughout this time period. So I think it's a vote for Mr. Walton. And Meredith, is there anything that you wanna add as far as the chain of custody issue? Besides that all ballots and materials are locked behind two doors when they're returned to our office. There's it, and this ballot, this ballot was outside of the envelope and in the rejected envelope. So we knew this was the only one that was out. We knew where this one was and it's always been with us. For the record, for the record. when was it first understood that there was at least a rejected uh, ballot? Wednesday morning. And between uh, the close of uh, the polls on Tuesday and Wednesday when we recognized that uh, was the was the ballot uh, kept uh, in a locked space? Yes. So I think so again, the board of canvassers has made a determination uh, to to count it. So now what you're doing is responding to the, the objection and whether there is sufficient new evidence to overturn the previous determination of the Board of Canvassers, that's for the current Board of Canvassers to determine. That would include the fact that the ballot was not sealed with the, with the other ballots. Right. They, it, was, they can, it was in the rejected folder. So they've, they've accepted a ballot with no chain of custody. We don't know if that's the ballot or somebody else marked it or if it was marked for one candidate or another. We don't know anything about that ballot until it was admitted in on Friday. There's no chain of custody. It's not a legal ballot. Is that, if it was a ballot, it should have been sealed in with all the rest of them. That, certainly that would fit in that bag quite nicely. It should have well, been sealed it was, in. It was in the rejected. But that should materials. have been sealed. If it was a, a valid ballot, all ballots have to be sealed in that tub or that bag on election night. And this manila folder would have fit nicely in there with the rest of them. It could have been debated whenever. But this idea that a ballot can show up three days later, we don't know if that's the ballot or somebody switched it. There's no way for us to know that, any of us. It would be very easy to switch a ballot, very easy. And the purpose of the sealed bag is to keep that from happening. So you've got a ballot outside of the chain of custody in this election, and you're accepting that. It was with the rejected ballots. It was always under lock and key. And it should have been rejected. Well, no, they get to look at them. The, that's the unofficial. Madam reason. Clark, does yes. the Chief Inspector's report on the 104 have anything to say about this? Good question. Yes, it does. So it was determined at 1035 that the machine rejected an absentee due to overvoting. Um, we did contact the chief inspector to um, ask her about, yes, and then she wrote this, yes, but that was because the ballot was found and she was one vote off. They did mark it on another sheet as well that they were one vote off because they put a ballot into the envelope instead of putting it in the machine. And that ballot wasn't secured, it could have been manipulated or switched. I don't believe before so. Day, well, it could have been. I mean, the point is that these things need to be sealed. They're, these are the artifacts of the election. These are the artifacts of the election. Mm -hmm. And this one is outside of the scope of that. And it was locked in the clerk's office. Well, it's not locked in a sealed bag with a tag that we can look at the security tag. It's locked elsewhere. It could have been locked in the trunk of a Buick. Who knows? But I think it should not be accepted in this in this election because it's, it is outside of the scope of the uh, of the of the uh, artifacts of the election. So, why don't we give uh, Mr. Walton's side one more chance? Sure. To Already asked and answered, and for the same reason that we permitted um, a ballot without signatures into it, that the intent of the voter and the what it happened is clearly explained, and it was behind two sets of locked doors, as was explained earlier uh, this afternoon. So, for this reason, the ballot should be counted. So, uh, it, you know, the Board of Canvassers can decide on the ballot. And again, I would note, I think the standard of proof here is that the Board of Canvassers has made a determination. 
And so now you're looking to decide whether to overturn the previous determination. And uh, uh, there you would look to the idea of whether there is new evidence that the previous board of canvassers did not have before them. Uh, but that's for you. That's for you to determine, and uh, you can decide whether to accept the vote to count the ballot or to discard it. This has always been in my custody. So I'm going to stand by my decision at the board. Of board. Canvas. Martha, you're new. I'm going to kind agree of with Peter's your spot, decision to keep the to count it for Andre. I don't think that there's new evidence to overturn what we decided on Friday either. So it's a three to zero vote that we're going to count this ballot for Andre. Should All I, right, should I mark it? It is marked on the back. Oh yeah, thank, thank you. <clears throat> so if we could divide these into 25s and I can help and then we'll switch and count again too. Thank you. And we want to check to make sure that you're checking the rates as well. Again, checking one. So that we sorted it, that you're doing yeah. Joseph's.
switch our stacks, and then we'll do hers. No, do not do mine, and then I'll do yours, okay, and then we'll do hers. Okay, okay, does that make sense? Yep. Take twenty. No, you didn't. Double. So you get to take three. That's fine. These are all stacks of twenty-five. Except on these. Yeah.
you tally as I sold. This is for Joseph Heidemann, one stack of 25, two stacks, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Those are the stacks. Eleven stacks. Eleven, yeah. 11 stacks. Okay. What? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Because you have 11. Yes. 11. So that's 275 and then 4. Andre? What? Sorry. It's 11. Yeah. Thank you. 275 plus 4. Yeah, I got that part. Oh, I'm just sorry. doing the. Okay, sorry. No, the girls get along now. What the heck? They do. I asked nicely. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Andre, one stack. I'm just doing stacks now. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. How many are ten and then what? Nine. For me? And then nine extra. Oh, plus nine. So you had ten stacks. Tally sheets for, for 19. Hmm? What would you like? The oh, yeah, but you need to do those two yet. Or not at this point. Are you the counting? no votes? Yeah. The no? no? I don't know. I mean, the no votes don't. They don't I know, but you're yes. adding them into the yes. total balance, right? No, because we already did the total balance. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. That's okay. How many of those are there? I don't know. You want to know how many no votes are? So I have the tape. I need the other tally sheet. So the tape for Heidemann has 279. The tape for Walton has 258. But it is 259 includes the one that we put in from the Board of Canvassers because that wasn't on the tape and zero write-ins. Where are they? Did you just give them just to me? Gave it oh, right there. there. <laughs> All right. So I lost my. All right. So we're going to do a grand total then. And we can put that. So here are the tally sheets. Here is your tally sheets. We didn't have a third one for a grand total. Definitely write that down on a piece of paper and put that on the tally sheet. Did you bring a piece of the paper just out of there? I have. Oh, I have tablets okay. here. I don't know why they got down here. Yeah. Four, two, seven, one. Just yeah. four, three. So for Ward 19, it was 124 for Joseph Heidemann. And for Ward 20, it was 279 for Joseph Heidemann, which equals 403. Oh, could you do that again, please? Sorry. Sure. It was 124 for Ward 19, mm -hmm. 279 for Ward 20, which equals 403. For Ward 19, for Andre Walton, we have what is that? 144 plus 
259 from Ward 20, which equals 403, which is where we were at the Board of Canvassers, which is with a tie. So at that time, we broke the tie, and that stands. Yep. If there's so any I, I would, objections to any of that, yeah, right? That was not covered today. Right. So the I think the first question is: Is there any objection to the result from either side based on count? Based not, on the account, the count, no. Based on the count, no. Okay. Not hearing any objection from from either side. So then um, you're right, uh, as as noted, uh, the. The tiebreaker was done at the time of the Board of Canvassers, and that tiebreaker stands. So they, we wouldn't do another tiebreaker today, and so that would mean that uh, Joe Heidemann would be the, the candidate who was elected. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. There's, wait. there's still some. There's still, we haven't adjourned yet. So. Oh, oh. No, we, haven't. we celebrated too early. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. We don't know. I object to that. So, um, I don't think that the choosing of cards after the canvas applies to after the recount. And one of the reasons that I say that is an ordinance that the city of Sheboygan has had for many years. It's section 38-2, and that says, whenever two or more candidates for any elective office shall receive an equal number of votes for the same office, the election shall be determined by a majority vote of the common council elect at such time and in such manner as the council shall direct. And the reason that I say the drawing of the cards doesn't count today is that when you have an equal vote at the canvas, somebody has to be declared the winner so that somebody, if they want to, can have a recount. They have to be the person who loses to be able to demand a recount. So we humbly request that the canvassing board follow the law as established by the city of Sheboygan in conducting municipal elections as part of the state. And if I may say one more thing on that, I don't think that's really your decision anymore. I think that's the common council's decision. Your work is done. So is there a response from the other side? Um, well, then I have to look at this, this ordinance. This is the first we've heard about this. So I can read it for you. I can it up. 38.2, 38 38-2 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code reads, tie votes in election. Whenever two or more candidates for any elective office shall receive an equal number of votes for the same office. The election shall be determined by a majority vote of the common council elect at such time and in such manner as the council shall direct. Yeah, but I need to also just take a look at the title of the chapter, things like that. Yeah. Well, the first thing I'll say is that that's superseded by state statute. So state statute provides that if there is a tie vote that the winner is to be determined by and the Board of Canvassers meeting. That was done. Second, a recount is simply for the purpose of determining whether or not the original canvas was correct. So the statute provides that if there's a difference in the in the amount of votes as done during the recount, then the Board of Canvassers shall change their statements and conclusions at that point, but there is no difference. So because there's no difference between the amount of votes that were determined at the original Board of Canvassing meeting and here at the recount, there is no grounds upon which to change anything. Any response? I'm not saying change anything. I'm saying apply the law. The city of Sheboygan has developed an ordinance. It's been on the books for quite a while. And it says it goes to the common council. And you Actually, failed to notify the, the clerk. You failed to notify the canvassing board of this Eureka discovery. To put all of us through what? How many hours of this? Are well, you serious? The ordinance has been there. You can read the ordinance. It's been there for a long time. The ordinance statute. has been superseded by state law and the Wisconsin Elections Commission. We're following a lot of Wisconsin Election Commission procedure for how many hours today? We're following this has nothing to do with the jurisdiction of the Common Council. Well, this has everything been determined. It's over. 
The purpose of the recount was confirmed, and it confirmed that there were an equal number of votes in a tie, and therefore, as applied here in Sheboygan, it's not inconsistent with state law, as council is claiming. It's fully consistent, and this is how the city of Sheboygan has chosen to implement municipal elections. And I'm not here to question the wisdom of the voters of Sheboygan and the council that adopted it. I need to respond. First off, section 5.014A provides, if two or more candidates for the same office receive the greatest, but an equal, equal number of votes, the winner shall be chosen, shall be chosen by lot in the presence of the board of canvassers charged with the responsibility to determine the election. Or in the case of an election for a state or national office or metropolitan sewerage commissioner to commissioners elected under an irrelevant statute in the presence of the chairperson of the elections commission or the chairperson's designee. Two things. First, it says the state statute says shall. The board of canvassers shall determine the winner. It's not may determine the winner, depending on what the municipal ordinances say. Second, that there's a distinction made in that statute between elect certain types of elections, and there's no exception made for municipal elections. It says in the case of a uh, election for a state or national office or metropolitan sewerage commissioner, there's a different procedure provided for, rather than the drawing of a lot. There is no different. There is no exception made for a municipal election. Third, this. The statute I just cited was, elect, was uh, enacted in 1979, whereas the, common, the municipal ordinance was enacted in 1975. Under basic rules of, of, of statutory construction, the statute supersedes, the municip it takes precedence over the municipal ordinance, and the procedure has been followed correctly thus far. The drawing of a lot was correct. The result was correct. The, re the recount here is determined that the tie vote is the same as it was. There's no grounds to change anything. So as far as the Board of Canvassers is concerned, uh, you have completed your duties. Uh, I don't think that there is any need to, to uh, you know, take for any further action on behalf of the Board of Canvassers. You've made your determination that there was a tie vote. You already uh, broke the tie uh, at, the, at the meeting uh, last Friday. Um, it, it may be that someone will go to the Common Council at the Common Council meeting uh, and uh, attempt to apply this uh, ordinance, and I will give my advice at that time, uh, but I will advise the clerk uh, that at this point it is my advice that you should treat Mr. Heidemann as the person who has been elected under the statute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can we adjourn? Yes. Adjourn.